Hey, Petty Pumpkins, it's Che. And Wes. We are back, and we are so excited to be jumping back into Santa Clarita Diet. It's season two, and we are sad. I have missed this family so much. Joel, Sheila, Abby, y'all have my heart. You can't forget Eric. And Eric, we love you. We love them all. Of it's course. been a minute since we watched season one. We didn't mean for it yeah. to take this long. Just a casual five months. No big deal. No big deal. Because all that matters now is that we're here right. and we're ready for the diet. Yeah. And the last time we saw Joel, he was in a mental institution and Sheila, yes. she was chained <laughs> up in the basement. So yes. So I'm interested to see where we go from there. With this show, there is no telling what this season holds. I'm, I like can't even imagine what could happen next. Yeah. But I am so excited to find out. Me too. And you know what? A lot of it is like eating body parts so we might have to censor and overly cut some stuff mm -hmm. out so if you want to watch this video in folding format uncensored you can do so by joining our patreon it'll be in the five dollar party pumpkin tier see y'all at the patch okay i'm so excited are you ready i'm so ready here we go Oh, episode one, no family is perfect. Don't we know that? Well, this family is as close as you can I get. Know. I would argue that they might be the perfect nuclear family. I don't see anything wrong with them. No, nothing, at all. nothing whatsoever. No. Gore, language, and violence. Hell yeah, baby. Wow, we are back. I missed it so much. Me too. There's my baby. Oh, I do imagine us, Joel. <laughs> wow, he's looking extra daddy. This feels like a family reunion. I'm so excited. It practically is. Radiant. She's so as stunning. Ever. Basement <gasps> lighting on Sheila. It looks amazing. Okay, but we need to let my daddy out of here. Please. He has shit to do. Yeah. We have a cage for him here. You don't gotta keep him in that cage. <laughs> yes. Okay. And and we might be willing to share the key. It's your Maybe. 17 hours. I have to get home. Me too, man. No, but I really do. Are you saying my situation isn't also urgent? No, Ron. I'm sure you have to get Damn. to your apartment before these burgers people come back. They are certainly not people. If they were, I would have to seal my ears with peanut butter at night just to keep them from infiltrating my brain. Peanut They're butter? So intrusive. I think this man's on to something. I believe him, I'm Ron. I'm this isn't hmm. your first time here. I've been captured before. Why have you captured. Found a way out? Why should I help you when you don't even treat me like a human being? He does have a tendency to be a I little selfish. Be Listen, Joel's intentions are pure, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. I have to give this very specific medicine. He just has a lot going on. Worse. What's mm -hmm. going on with your wife? Actually, you may be the only person I can talk to about it. Because no one will believe him. She's undead. <sighs> maybe, Sir? Maybe you shouldn't be talking about this right now. Maybe this isn't the man you should be telling. Also, are there people... Like, are there cameras? Or, like, They're talking quite loud. That must be exhausting. But I like that Joel has someone he can talk to. Hello, gentlemen. Are you ready for group? Doctor, I need to go home. We can't let you go until you're no longer a danger to yourself or anyone else. Oh. Shall we, gentlemen? Well, how is he going to get out of this one? Will there be juice? One box per person, Ron. Same as always. Ron should have as much juice as he wants. The soonest we could get a Serbian exchange student is six months. Are you sure it has to be Serbian vial to make the serum? Yeah, it's in the book. That's Since quite the specific. In Serbia, they're the only ones who have built up immunity. What about that job message board? Did you post on that? Yeah, a few hours ago. Are you Serbian? Do you want to make the $130 just for throwing it? <laughs> no, you do. Send copy of birth certificate, no dick pics. Oh, yeah, none. Because apparently it wasn't obvious, but honestly, it just made people more creative. Right. I don't see I'm how sure. that couldn't work. It's bound to work. It's coming from the basement. <gasps> Sheila's hungry. Oh, gosh. She's crunching. <laughs> we saw this episode of Goosebumps, okay? <laughs> Stay out of the basement. What is she eating? Mom, what are you up to? Oh my god, so girl. Chewing? Chewing Drew Beavermore. <laughs> we see. So I need to get out. And I know you're worried I'm going to go out there and kill somebody. But think about all the people I haven't killed. Exactly. Literally exactly. in the world except three people. Right. I buy it. Let her out. I'm not letting you out. And stop chewing the post. 
Oh, let her know, girl. How the dynamics have turned. We gotta hit on the job posting. I feel like this is Abby's boss ass bitch season. Text me his address. Tell him I'm on my way. I'll go with you. Is the rest of the serum job? Not quite. She said, boy, you have work to do. Manipulative termite, so you need to keep working on the cure. I have pepper spray. You know, it's not a cure. It will only stop her symptoms from progressing. And there's no way she can get out of those chains, right? Uh, okay, they have a hit. This is moving so fucking fast. <laughs> Tell us why you've come back to us. Well, I am being harassed by the interdimensional beings again. But something happened last week. Tell us about that. My wife died. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Ron. Ron, why did you know? She'd been sick and wasn't getting any better. He also didn't ask. Promise you that. Had her at home and... I had just finished making her breakfast. She didn't want it. She just smiled at me and said, everything's going to be okay, sweetie. And then she closed her eyes. She was here with her beautiful smile. And then she was gone for a... Oh my God. I imagine. I lost my wife for 10 seconds. Ooh. And in those seconds, I wanted to die with her. Got some news for you, honey. <laughs> wow. Brace yourself. Oh, shit. Jesus with such tiny amounts of juice, who wins this game? Ron must be protected at all costs. She's not here, Mrs. Amit. Oh, she's going to eat him up. You want to go in the yard and have a game of catch? I can't unchain you. Who's she catching? The mailman? Mm -hmm. Can you come down here for a minute? <laughs> no, thank you. Eric? Here. Drew's voice acting even is so good. It's perfect. She, like, put such a big smile on my face. And I don't even have to see her. The way she touched his arm. I get it, girl. You're not a danger to yourself or anyone else. <gasps> Yay! Let him go. It just goes to show how easily they let killers out. Yep. Just go on. Yep. Keep on killing. Because he is going to go and murder more people. Yeah. And we're like, yeah. <laughs> Alright, man, you gotta let me out of here. I need to make sure Ooh. she's okay. Mm -hmm. Come on, you can come with me. I'll yeah. I mean, I believe her. Of course. Wait, really? You have handcuffs? Her and Joel have handcuffs. Oh. How much of this do you want to hear? Less than that. I mean, spill. I would be interested to hear all of it. Whoa. Right, take these chains off and let's find her. Why do I feel like she can bust through those babies? Oh, she'll just chew through them. Hang on. <gasps> No! I forgot oh. she does that. Tell me where these in a sexual context. Oh, God, what are you doing? Oh. Where to go find my daughter? <gasps> oh, they Yo. look like those rubber chickens. This girl cannot okay. keep her fingers in her joints aligned. <gasps> Are you here for the Tori Amos tickets? No, you're a throw up. You weren't what I was expecting. Oh, oh no. I'm Goran. Goran? Girl, run. Figured you'd want to watch me do it. No, no, you figured me wrong. Yeah. What? Stop. Stop. <gasps> you said fingered. Goodbye. No, wait, I'm sorry. My sense of humor you is better be. jerk sometimes. Please, come in. <gasps> this guy, oh my god, he's back. <gasps> oh. Back for more. Who's the freshest? Who's the latest? I'm looking for something very specific. Of the giant eye can slide through. <gasps> That's it? It's a little past its best use by day, but it'll get her done. Dear God, who comes here? He <laughs> needs to go to prison, Mostly along right. with his clientele. <laughs> I need a fresh gallbladder. Oh. But it has to be from someone who's served me. What are you well, into? Do you I need to? Come on in, let's oh. take a look around, you sick fuck. Oh my God. He likes it. Why is that guy kind of hot? He is, it's kind of weird. How did you throw up in a Tupperware? Top it off. No, I'm good. <laughs> we can't be doing this. Ooh, I bet it's so warm. Stop. <gasps> Shut up. Girl, kick his ass. I'm going. I just wanted your vomit. And now you're making me vomit. She's such a queen. Love the confidence though, girl. I have missed watching Liv Houston so much. Go watch our Yellow Jackets reactions if you haven't. What the oh, shit? She does not waste a second. Ooh. Oh my god! <gasps> oh, oh. Oh, she likes fingers. He's not gonna have those for much longer. 
Well, problem solved, I guess. Yep. Oh no, Joel. Oh, <laughs> he thinks he's coming home to a peaceful evening. Oh! She had a little issue getting the package open. It's like when you step on a ketchup packet. Oh, yeah. And it just pops. He was. And he followed her home. Guys, great news. The serum worked. Sheila will never get worse than this. Uh oh. Is that his eye? Ooh. Okay, let's just. We're gonna go with it. You got by him? I did. <laughs> From this guy. And we should be applauding her. How do we know it worked? I took samples of her tar blood goo. The cells stopped deteriorating. I love this a scientist. So thankful he's a genius. That's how she's gonna be from now on? Again. Not getting worse. Exactly. Mike. <gasps> Rick. Oh my God. He's a cop and he's hot. Hey, Rick. A sheriff friend told Rick you destroyed the school principal's house and they carted you off to the hospital. So I brought cookies. <laughs> she just wants the. She wants the tea. I was helping him move some furniture and it got away from us. Right. I don't understand. Nor do you need to. Why are you not opening your door? She was napping. <laughs> Be quiet. Sorry, she fell asleep in the hall. I believe she that. Fell asleep in the hall. She's weird as shit. She's a busy woman. Plus, our kitchen's a huge mess. Unbelievable. Well, I should get back. What? He of talks course. too much. Just leave him on the porch. <laughs> <laughs> I would be returning for those cookies quick yeah. after they leave. I'm sorry. I help someone. Made me feel better about myself. What was it like for them just walking on set and it's like, just looks like this? Traumatizing. I'm going to run to the store for more cleaning supplies and I will pay. So don't even think of that. That's a deal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He was expecting Daddy's so, credit card. Well, I would have been like, give it up. Yeah, Daddy. I think what your dad meant was what to do now about me since I've become extra killy. I didn't and, say that. But you wouldn't mind if I went back down to the basement? She's not a little secret. <gasps> oh my oh. god, she's back. I haven't been cleaning products for like a really long time. Oh, sorry. It's okay. I wanted to make sure you weren't overwhelmed. Sometimes I do feel overwhelmed. She is so helpful. Why is she not, like, getting a degree in psychology? She needs to be a therapist. Oh, I was thinking in serving. <laughs> Except for Leslie, the cashier. She's become a problem. I don't oh. feel like your best sometimes isn't enough. Everyone does. Except Leslie. Well, we it's all fine. know a Leslie. Mm -hmm. She's gotta go. Sick and it's gotten worse. You'd do anything for this family, right? And without a name tag? <laughs> and yes. Then you're doing enough. Wow, her wisdom. Here, this one's good for blood. How did you find We have some on your shoes. <gasps> that girl is dark. I don't know what's up with her, She's but into some shit. <laughs> something scary. Mom wanted to take me shopping for a dress this week. I just want to know if that's still happening. When I was at the asylum. Don't say asylum. It sounds like they sent you to the 19th century. <laughs> <laughs> when I was at the timeout resort, I had a roommate, Ron. Speak his name. Ron lost his wife a week ago um. and it sent him spiraling. I have never seen a hotter cleanup guy. Oh my god. But shouldn't they be in hazmat suits? <laughs> hey there. I got a half mushroom, half ala pizza, one shrimp cocktail, oh. a side of spinach, and for Abby's lunch tomorrow, I was told to say that a meatball sandwich, all for the amazing price of thirty-five dollars. Thank you. Sounds delicious. I know this Yum. Unprofessional, but may I use your powder room? It's fine, but no. <gasps> Sir, you don't want to be involved with this family in any way. Next thing you know, two years from now, you're gonna find yourself subpoenaed on a fucking witness stand testifying against them. Oh, I was gonna say, shout out Sheila's ass. Sure, I know how much you like organ meat, so I brought you going to. That was really thoughtful of him. Okay. Uh, <gasps> bitch. Stop! Oh. <laughs> Ew! Do you think that's so, like Rice Krispie or something? Surely. We can paint the walls. Sure. Put in some carpet. I'd love a longer chain. Really? No. Set her up a whole playroom. Get bitch. her something if you're gonna keep her chained. The least you can get her is a fucking <gasps> 80 inch flat screen. Look at the way she is touching those tits. Oh my god, squeeze him, mama. 
He's not leaving you, baby. Unless we have anything to say about it. If we have anything to say about it, you're gonna be locked down there for a long time, Sheila. Oh, sorry, girl. But now he needs someone to keep him comfortable, yeah. keep him company, keep the bed, that bed warm is pretty big. next to him at night. Big enough for two? Big enough for three? <gasps> oh. I lost you once. That was enough. He's gonna sleep with her in the basement. That's fucking cute, and he should. We're not living apart. But we should keep the chains, you know, for sex stuff. <laughs> I believe they will get their use out of them. <gasps> Hopping girl. This is what y'all signed up for that night 16 years ago. Don't eat me. Okay. But you're so damn cute. Wow, I love them. Ramona? Oh, she wants him. Calling. No, girl. No, no, not at all. I got your number from your rewards card. Oh, well, I love that thing. Is that so ethical? So, so <laughs> how are you? Bye. I was thinking about your friend with the sick mom. Is your friend your age with strawberry blonde hair? Yeah, Abby. Why? She was in yesterday. She's pretty. Is she your girlfriend? No. <gasps> I'm single as a hummingbird moth at the end of June. <laughs> they made it at the beginning of June. I Boy, like just. Moths. I like science and moths too. <gasps> What's your favorite moth? That's so sexy. <laughs> Not our moth mother. I want to dress yeah, you like a moth. My boyfriend has zero interest. Like in a moths. furry moth. I mean, my ex-boyfriend. Girl, don't play him. He just broke up. Are you Are you okay? Yeah, although it was a little messy. <gasps> <gasps> bitch, bitch, you <laughs> are kidding. You're eating people. Oh, oh my god. Something infected this town. <laughs> Ramona! <laughs> when did this happen? Okay, what a wild episode. I was what not expecting that from her. No. Ramona, I love her, so I'm glad to see. I thought she was just like some random season one character. Not the case. She's back, and she's ready to attack, apparently. She's ready to eat. <gasps> Sheila? Girl, same... Oh my god. That bitch be panting sometimes. Anyway, I don't want you to wake up and find me gone and worried. I gotta go. Sweetie, we just don't change you and you're kind of still happy right now, so I'm gonna have to insist. Okay, try safe. You could say something. I just woke up. Me too. Bro, Joel, I'm this is more on you, baby. Wow. We can't be blaming Abby for nothing. Is that Sheila? Yes, ma'am. Getting her steps in. Track queen. Cardio. Hustle, girl. We live a cross-country girl. Oh, no. Let's go again. I'll give you a head start. Is she eating or is she just training? You were chasing rabbits? Yeah, I tried jogging, but I didn't feel any better. And then this rabbit ran out in front of me and I went after it. And I was like, yes. This is scratching that itch. I feel like channeling my bloodlust to She's a hunter. to prevent him something like last night's sweet sweet. Mm -hmm. There's an eyelid on the light. <gasps> oh my god. No. What? <gasps> the sound that it made was criminal. Really gross. Prison. If this helps you be less murdery. That's great. My concern is if someone sees you running around it's like a coyote in yoga pants, they might start asking questions like, what the fuck is that? I just think you should keep a low profile until we know what's going on. <laughs> I think we should go to the office today and tell Carl that we want in on that big housing development he's doing. Or even better, we hold off for a while on seeing our boss who yells at us and whose vocal cords you might rip out and eat in front of him. She doesn't need to be around anyone right now. She will do that. She cannot control her rage. I'm gonna shake shit up. Dream big. My dream right now is to my family together and my wife out of jail and take apart this hammer knife I make to kill the undead. Oh the hammer portion to uh, bookshelves and when my work day is done, the knife to cut free. Uh you're gonna need that. I think we should leave it intact. If he doesn't let us in on that project, I am going to pry it out of his plump and salty fingers. Why do I feel like she's thought about eating his fingers before? Most definitely. Like sausages. Hi, Joel. Oh my god, Lisa. I'm okay. Still no news about Dan. That must be hard. And girl. Oh my god, I forgot. Oh, you <laughs> They're getting it on every night. She loves God. 
He blesses everything we do. Well, he sure may do his instrument. Oh. oh Love I that for them. I saw the sheriff's log that you Saucy. Saucy. So why were you there? I drove over in my car. No, why were you there? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm How was I there? Joel. By way of car. He's so, so obvious. And she's good. I was there to see his grandma. She's stone cold. Teach the elderly. Oh, that's sweet. What do you teach them? Dancing. <laughs> Sheila, we're gonna be late. So you wreck Principal Novak's living room by dancing? Well, well we were doing the worm. Salsa, and when you dance with passion, as I do, sometimes things get away from you. Salsa. <laughs> Ooh. He could be a sexy salsa dancer. Oh, I would like to see it. I would it. take lessons. Me yeah. too. So you're both athletic. So you coming back from your run this morning while I was heading out for mine. Oh, you run? Yeah, check out those getaway sticks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what? Sheila, we should go running together sometime. You know, oh. now that I'm hanging out with Blondie, it'd be good to get to know you better. I would love that. Wouldn't that make sense? You and Deputy Garcia getting to be friends. Oh, speaking of friends, is it okay if I bring Anne to dinner at your house on Tuesday night? Oh my god. It better be. Anne is like wriggling her way into their lives, girl. One cop and now you bring another cop into our lives? You're too impulsive. At least let me do the talking with Carl today. Maybe neither one of us should be the one to talk to Carl. You're right. It's too dangerous. Let's build your bookshelves. What do you mean? No. No. But the bookshelves need to go up. This so. is a business opportunity. Daddy needs a raise. Take it down. We've got the file. Oh, I did take it down. And then I realized there's an email exchange between us and the serve your mom field. If anyone investigates his disappearance, they could find it. We need to access and delete the emails on his end. Do you have a cell phone? No, my mom oh destroyed my it. God. Uh, Gotta go to his house. <laughs> Who is that? Just a friend. Eric. Oh, he's Ramona. getting all cheesy. Uh, maybe we should tell your parents. Sounds this great. girl is living a whole fucking life that her parents know nothing about. Rebel with a cause. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. He's scrumptious, how's it going? I'm in a fucking bad mood. <gasps> we want to come back at a later date and tell you what we want, right, honey? You're partnering with that development company on some new homes. We should be the point people on that. Yeah, well, that development's on hold since Gary disappeared. Carl, you just gonna give up some awesome money-making opportunity? Like the giant baby you look like? Thank you, what? You have the skin of a young person Very young With childlike enthusiasm You're practically a toddler The development is high end There's a house on Linden Drive That is way pricier than the shit boxes you sell You bring me that listing We'll talk Deal We'll get that listing And fuck it like we're on vacation <gasps> Period Long and hard We're gonna get that listing I feel like that man liked the sex analogy He did He gives me a weird vibe Are you sure you love the love? He sold his vomit on the internet. I'm pretty sure there's no one this is right. Well, that doesn't mean he doesn't have uh, roommates. Or people chained up in the bathroom. Oh my god. Yeah. I keep thinking about what's gonna happen. Do you want to talk about it? I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Abby. I should have been there. No. You were a hero. Your serum saved my mom. Shout out to the serum. He is a hero, but he's someone else's hero. Wow. Wow. It's just this girl I met at the Rite Aid last night, Ramona. Oh, I met her. We kind of hit it off, and she's been texting me to hang out, so... He did ask her out, and she turned him down, so... Yeah, that's how it goes. Or he tried to kiss her. We're breaking yeah. and entering right now. Right. Yeah, get back to work. He's very distracted. He has a touch sensor. We need his fingerprint. How are we going to get his fingerprint? Hmm. Oh, no. Well... No. No. Gross. No. I'll get the key to my parents' storage unit. Mom loves fingers, but she says that thumbs are like the ends of bread, so <gasps> maybe we'll get lucky. That's why she just broke hers off. Yeah, she doesn't give a fuck. Who needs them? This house is gonna show really well. A lot of memories. I raised two kids here. Well, three if you count Rachel. Why wouldn't we count Rachel? What? Let's not open the Rachel box. But there's Rachel. <laughs> Rachel. Rachel. Icon, mother, legend. I love Never animals with human names. Same. I love Rachel. <gasps> what? <laughs> Get that dog away from her hair. You think you know what's best for my dog? Yeah, yeah, bitch, I do. Um, I think it's not best to deep throat your dog's leg. She could get into all kinds of trouble. She might even get caught doing something unusual in the desert and get arrested. You just want to be yourself. And that's why I've been trying to. He's kissing you. Rachel never kisses strangers. 
Rachel girl, live a little. <laughs> Rachel is a snobby bitch. Let's talk about what kind of prize we can get for this. Who is this? Oh. <gasps> Joel? The other Joel. The real Joel. It's easy to remember, but a few forget. Check the Chris and Krista. Chira, get in my suit. Sheila, Joel, how are you? You all know each other? Wasn't she in model behavior? <gasps> the decom movie? Yes. She was. Maggie Lawson. Maggie Lawson, yes, yes, yes. We've known Chris and Krista since high school. Chris is a few years older than me, but we graduated at the same time. I'll let you do the math because he couldn't. <laughs> Championship game sport. Chris once drove drunk. Joel was quarterback for his team. There's the final play of the game. Little guy drops back and throws a Hail Mary. Ball went sideways and landed in the marching band and hit the bass drum. They say if you put that drum up against your ear, you can still hear Joel crying. That was not the serve he thought it was, honestly. Who cares about high school football? Yeah, we're over that. They're actually the only realtors in town because the rest of us pronounce it realtors. It doesn't matter. Both ways are correct. That's <laughs> not true. One way is correct and the other is profoundly ignorant. <gasps> no, Joel's right. You can say realtor or realtor. They are bitches. I love it. I love them. Why don't you show us the kitchen and I'll slice everyone a piece of tiramisu. Unless you pronounce it tera uh misu. <laughs> Maybe That's he funny. does. Chris flipped his dad's car. Someone needs to be taking his car keys away, it sounds Chris like. Is scary. <laughs> Girl, be careful. That is unexpected. Well, could be worse. We are screwed. No. Becky says she's not deciding until tomorrow. We have to win this. We have to crush them. I want to make it hurt. Oh, she wants to really hurt them. He's always hot, girl. Fuck Chris and Krista. Fuck. Babe, I think the movie is called American Pie, but I, Tiramisu is that the sequel we never saw? If we did that more often, you wouldn't have to chase rabbits. I don't want to break you. What I believe she that? could just like that thing like a glow stick, yeah. you know? Oh, like a carrot. Uh huh. We can't solve all our problems with murder. How about just this problem? No. <laughs> we could just kill one of them. We have to do something that doesn't involve murder. Hmm. I'm not sure they could come up with anything else. Their brains are hardwired. Yeah. I cannot believe this. What in the fuck? It's like a raw meat popsicle. Imagine just licking that. No! Ew. Oh no. Are you sure? I don't want to be the kind of girl who holds a friend back because they have like a 3% chance of winding up together and I like her. Aww. I want you to be happy. Thank you. Oh, there. What? I, think that's a I don't know how they couldn't end up together after going through all this. How convenient that the thumb was right there. Ew. They... Nose. No. Oh. Wait, wait. Oh. No, we might lose this game with a thumbprint. What do we do? Oh, I'm Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, do you us? I hate this show. What the hell? Anybody could get you a good price for this house. So let's talk about what's really important to you. We want to find another family that will fill this home with memories. And we promise we'll do that if you do us the honor of making us your realtors. Realtors. Both are correct. <laughs> We're inclusive to all. I was going to wait until tomorrow to decide, but... Are they going to do this every time? So sorry to interrupt, but we just got some great news. We just sold Johnny Depp's manager's house for above asking. And we agreed that you can come to set and meet Johnny, who is in LA right now making a movie. Oh my god. Is there any more of that Tara uh, Masu left? <laughs> of course. None for you. <gasps> What is she thinking? They're gonna take that dog. We've been talking about doing what's best for people. I haven't done that for you. You need to run free and chase things. That's what you're thinking about now? Yes, because you need to run and chase things. Now. <gasps> oh. Catch go her. Girl. Gotta go catch her. Gathering our stop up. I noticed Chris left the door open. Chris. <gasps> Rachel escaped. I love when a plot point pays off. <laughs> Come on, Sheila. Damn, Rachel wanted to get the fuck Rachel away said, from there. Bitch, I have plans. <laughs> you may be faster than me, but I'm never tired. Just ask my husband. <laughs> oh shit. I love oh. how much she loves to fuck Joel. And I'm sure that's how raw his dick is too. It's really puckered, like it fell asleep in a bathtub. <laughs>
Why would you say that? I do not want to picture his <gasps> like that. When you're Sheila's okay, husband. There. Done. We don't have to go to jail. Yes! Let's get out of here. I feel like they could still find that email though. Yeah. Whatever. We're going to jail. Oh. Who are <laughs> they? Who are you? We're friends with Gorn. So are we. Where are you wearing gloves? Where are you wearing gloves? We're team hand models. What? And we have to protect our assets from Sunday. Well, I believe it. Right? We're wearing gloves because we're janitors on our way to our janitor job. Well, we're off to a photo shoot with a watch company. And as I'm sure you can imagine, they are very punctual. Very. Oh my God, who are these people? Are you here for the bio? You heard everything I heard, Marsha. You think they're with us? Hmm. Well, based on my having the identical information what? you have, I don't know. What? Just with us? Know. What does that mean? Why are we at the right, eh? <gasps> Girl, just go do it. We're tired of the giggling. What's the worst that could happen? She could eat him. Yeah. Go on, get out of here. And don't forget you have a defrosted thumb in your pocket. Right. How could she? If anything happens to that dog, there's no way I'm letting that door open. Because I recall you also denied flipping your dad's car. Look. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Yes, mother! We are realtors, ma'am, and we have the extra syllable because we go the extra mile. I'm gonna go get you a wet towel and your robe. Oh. <laughs> no, thank you, Joel. Sorry, Krista. Looks like you didn't make the list. -a. You screwed us. Then you have fine. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. He's a full pint. Six four, which makes me three inches taller than you. Oh, it totally took you a while to do the math. Cool. Can't it out. Oh. We got the listing. That's the client's signature right there. Who are you building homes with now? Period. Fail. Next. Yeah. Job. I had zero faith in you two, but now seeing this, I have the tiniest amount. Really? I'm with the site and a half I'll call the geologist, get them out there as soon as possible. How Bring soon is that? In. Mama wants to hold your baby. <laughs> baby shit out right now. You're the baby <laughs> shit. He does remind me of a big baby. A big shitty so baby. Look at it. It's gorgeous. Is that where we buried Gary? <gasps> They're building something. <gasps> oh god, here we go again. I don't think so. Maybe we're being punished. I don't think we're bad. Maybe we're just both. They're just taking care of what needs to get taken care of. Like, they're just living the life that's handed to them, basically. Holy when shit. life gives you lemons. Gary! <gasps> what did you do to me? What <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Gary? You're looking scary. Let Gary. me shake my ass to that because Gary's back and I never expected that for a second. But this show loves to just give us the most random shit and we have to go with it. So and we, we are do. going with it. We are going into episode three, moral gray area. Yeah, is it grayer than his skin? Grayer than his brain matter. Ew. Which, you know what, one thing that we didn't say is that we are binging all of these videos right now. We're going to watch all ten episodes mm -hmm. in one sitting. So, here we are. We watched episodes one and two, and we're moving on to episode three, Moral Gray Area. I actually cannot believe this. I thought we were done with this perv. Same. All this time, you've just been lying awake here in this hole? In a pudding of my own guts. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was deserved. Yeah. I hope he was suffering. So what happens now? You can't live like this. So I guess we have to kill you. Axe to the head. None of this is ideal, Gary, and clearly mistakes were made. Shuffle to the mouth. We would like to send you off with as yeah. much dignity as possible. Just put it in to him. Like Before you kill me, I do have one last request. Really? You want us to do you a favor? You buried me alive. You got yourself into this position, bro. How is his brain still working? It was infected. Oh, not in a Voss. Very spooky. What is your request? Oh, I had a lot of time to reflect on my life while I was staring at that. I wasn't a good person. You don't Sorry say. Love the self reflection yeah, happening. I always took care of my niece Kayla. She had a lot of back breaks, but I was the one person in her life who always made sure she and her baby had food to eat, mm -hmm. roof over their heads. In my office, there's a deed to a summer house I own only. 
Michigan. I want you to give it to Kayla so she and her little girl can get out of their crappy apartment in Long Beach. Yeah, it's about time you do something useful. Mm -hmm. Give back to the community. I think being separated from your penis has made you a better man. I agree. Most men need that. Certainly has given me more free time. Please, I'm the only family Kayla has. I can't bear her thinking that I've abandoned her. No fucking chance. Because she hasn't done anything wrong that we know of. She doesn't deserve to feel that way. He knows he has to. You were wondering if we were bad people, but only good people would do a favor for the severed head of their victim. I think at best we're in a moral agreement. I totally agree with her. Great people. I fed Jerry. I gave him pieces of the Serbian guy, which fell through and smacked into the vase, but he seems to enjoy it. What would you what? think if, for the bookshelves in here, I built them out of cherry wood for like this? And what would you think if, instead of driving 50 miles to Long Beach, we mailed that to you to Gary's niece in an envelope like this? I don't know. Do you want a paper trail? He is the type of person who would leave a paper trail. I just wanted to have one normal day. Oh, it's never happening, bro. You're never getting a normal day again. Mm -mm. What did she want to do, sweetheart? Well... Sorry, Joel. This is insane. Oh, try this. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. We haven't had a date night since this all started. We can go see Gary's niece. I would love nothing more than to have a date night with you. I also haven't written a restaurant review for Yelp in a long time, and my father's oh. on me. Elite status is a privilege. And a he misses being a Karen. I could see Joel in his Karen era mm -hmm. with the little fuck ass Bob. She's gonna find out about it. Why do they try to hide everything from her? They really shouldn't. She already knows everything. Is this you guys, human body parts found near Rocky No. But it sure sounds like us. Girl. When you have to question that when you read those headlines. <gasps> Ramona. <gasps> She's ripping guys up. She's gonna rip Eric up like a little piece of meat. Where is she? Jerky. Thank you for taking me away. Oh no, oh. no, no. I still feel bad you didn't eat anything. Oh. Did express a bad choice for a first date? Yes. Boy. Uh, Are feels you a little kidding? microaggressive. And also, just in general, yes, it's not oh, a good first date. She is about to munch. <gasps> oh. Girl, relatable. <gasps> Boy. Likely story. Myself? Actually, it's just one thing. A million times. Can I have some water? Oh. Oh my god. Some are people in you do this successfully all the time. Oh. Why did he just have that ready? Mm mm. <gasps> Well, well, at least he already has experience with this whole situation. Yep. Hey, Romeo. <gasps> he is fully chopped up. Also, I'm sure she can hear him. Oh my god. Eric, I'll find it. Girl. I should have brought more protection. Probably. Gary just dropped everything and left? He Very dropped much. everything he and died. <laughs> so he gave up all of his material possessions and moved to a remote village. Yeah. He became a van lifer on TikTok, girl. Legend. I'm so sorry. Go follow him, though. Did he say where he was going? I think it was quite a month. No, he kept it vague because he didn't want anyone. Yeah. Joel doesn't think of anything beforehand. He never has any answers ready. Well, you're looking at her, honey. She really has him clogged. He asked us to give you this. <gasps> you are such good people. She confirmed it. They are. <laughs> My girl, she doesn't need to hear all this. <gasps> the trauma took over. Um, take it back. Oh my god. You told the exact right people. It was Gary's last wish that we get her to Michigan, and we haven't done that yet. We have to go and get her car back. 
Go spend time with your daughter. Does she really want to hang out there? No, probably not. Good thing, honey. You are gonna get your Chinese food. He better. And now I want some too. That sounds so good, but not Panda Express. If you give us the address to your ex-boyfriend, we will go there and get your car back. Oh my god, really? Yeah. You guys, I really appreciate it. Really. Of course. It's our pleasure. I should probably warn you about my ex. You'll probably be okay. Thank you. What the hell? Who is he? Oh. How often is your nose bleeding, my friend? My cat did that once. Oh. It sounded way softer. <gasps> <gasps> this bitch. Oh. Oh, she didn't attack you. You had sex. Well. She oh. struck, and then she was gonna bite. Okay, first off, Abby Icon. Before you judge yep. me, you took almost 40 minutes to get here. Well, you thought I was gonna die. Second, but Eric body. They both bodied. That's a good look on you. <gasps> Thank you. It is. Are you really undead? Uh-huh. Did my mom bite you? No. Then how did it happen? I don't know. I woke up one morning, <gasps> vomited, died, then went on a hike. Sounds like it very well could have been Sheila. Way, and I smashed his head in with a rock and ate his brain. <laughs> Why do joggers think they own the road? It makes me yeah. so mad. They, they must be stopped. Okay, you guys are, are good. Wait, yep. we met at the Rite Aid. You said your mom was sick. How is she? Mm -hmm. Doing better? Why? I wanted to see if she's having the same problem as I am. Oh, God. <gasps> what is it? Oh, <gasps> Came off a week ago. I velcroed it back on. Yep, same issue, girl. girl. Her toe fell off. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Oh, it did. Time to get the needle and thread. All right, who is this man with the car? Yeah. Boom, Tarver. Yeah. Boom, Tarver. Jessica Tandy. Jessica Tandy. Hey, lad. We really like you consider giving her the car back. It would be the right thing to do, and as a bird bath owner, I know you're always looking for ways to help others. Fuck that shit. Even if Hale was a beautiful bird, I wouldn't give that bitch her car back. Whoa. $400. Yeah, okay. You wow. pathetic okay, piece of shit. Would you do it for 300 No, that's not how it works. Tell you what, you seem like nice white people. You pay me cash for over 350 Nice white people? I don't think I want to go in there. Maybe he said nice white people. No, he said white. He's racist. Look at those bookshelves. He's obsessed. Just let this man build something. He needs to use his hands. Oh. Use those hands to just fucking smash that shit to the ground, Daddy. Look at these corners. <gasps> I guarantee you, this guy has his own mother's house. I. Yeah, look at the stuff on the show. I am passing away at, at this. <laughs> Are y'all joking me? Joel Siv. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we were looking for our first person to kill, and we said, who would be the perfect candidate? Yeah. Get the tarps out of the carpet. Yep. <gasps> we just killed our young single Hitler. Girl, Yummy. Oh. Yummy. It was in the moment of great. I was so worried my first time would be with my cousin Sophie. <gasps> she has such good massages. What? No, no. Oh, I just learned way stop, too much stop, about him stop. in a quick sentence. Let's just finish this. So your girlfriend's head doesn't fall off when you're working on it. <gasps> well, for your information, I recently found out I am a gentle Gibby mother. <laughs> I do believe that. I want to kill this guy. I feel like he's very intentional. Murdering people impulsively. And this is a truly bad guy. I mean, the worst. For killing millions of people. Oh, there he is. Sorry it took so long. I popped a couple oxys for you, can and just kicked uh, in, so I'm moving kind of slow. Girl. I shit you not, I slammed my finger in the door, I felt nothing. I don't care. Hey, you guys are fun, right? <laughs> she is salivating. Down the street for a gay Jew lady doctor. You want to go shout stuff at her colored foster kids? <gasps> my God. Mama wants to eat. Hey, boom. Bad news. <gasps> There's more of them. Yesterday, shifty Jews. <clears throat> Let her munch. That neck is looking right. Can't go nowhere. Tickets for a softball team. Softball? Yo. Are you all Nazi-ish? Damn right. <gasps> you like Nazis? I don't know. I've never had one. She likes <gasps> swallowing their bones. Yeah, I'm done here. She'll be back. It's time to digest them. Okay, remember, this isn't a cure. It just arrests your symptoms. So you're going to stay exactly as you are. 
Thanks for helping me. Wait, uh, before you leave, tomorrow night's half price at the trampoline park. You want to go? Oh. No. Okay, how about a movie Friday night? No. Girl. Magic Mountain on Saturday. No. No. I think she's blowing you off. I suspected Abby's sick mother was undead and thought she might be able to help me with my deterioration. Wow. The only reason I slept with you was to create an emotional bond so you'd lead me to her. Uh -uh. Let's actually lead her to her and see what happens. Uh huh. Sorry, Eric. I got the serum and I don't need you anymore. Sheila would so end now. this bitch. Kind of see you later, alligator. Or maybe never again, crocodile. Girl, get out of here. Girl, that alligator is gonna eat you the fuck up. Whole body snatch. Doing her a boy like that. Uh-uh. I don't like that. Just when I was starting to like her. I shouldn't have given you such a hard time about Ramona. No. No, it's okay. I'm sorry I couldn't stop talking about her. I wasn't trying to make you jealous. I wasn't jealous. I think he was a little bit. I was angry. Angry? Yeah, you scared the hell out of me. When you called me from Ramona's, I thought you were gonna die. I'm sorry. Don't ever do that to me again. Clock him. I won't. Are they gonna get together? Like, I feel like they will. It's being so telegraphed. I just want to see you a little smooch. I'm sorry I was so insistent on killing Boone. You know, being selfless doesn't come easy to the undead. Hey, we're here. We're having our date night. What's great about a lobster tank? You have a stockpile of live, fresh, tasty food whenever you want it. <gasps> She needs her own lobster tank. This is my lobster tank. Yep. And these gentlemen are my lobsters. Her lotsies. Her lotsies. And grab one and have a tasty meal. Right now, I'd just like to enjoy my meal. We've dealt with Gary. <sighs> we have to kill Gary's head tomorrow. That's right. Oh, <laughs> Gary. Well, the weather's been great. Something outside would be nice. <sighs> we could take him to Pike's Ridge, set him on that boulder overlooking the valley, tell him a joke, and while he's laughing, drive an ice pick to his brain. Oh, that's good. That would work. I was thinking we'd count to three, but then do it on two, but you know, it's better. Right. I love the collaboration yeah. between them. Yeah. It's important in a marriage, and a it's, business. It feels pretty normal. For us, this is normal. It is, yeah. God, I know we have new normal. Right now, but how great would it be to put him out for Halloween? Oh, God. <laughs> I don't think so. The Anderson's corn makes look like the bullshit that it is. Oh, my God, this is so us. I just know that their <laughs> Halloween decorations <laughs> are... Absolutely. Magnifico. Much. <gasps> Girl, she doesn't know. Oh my oh. god. <sighs> Fucking does. She's gonna find him. <gasps> no, girl, don't just don't even bother. Hey. It's not even worth it. I'm Gary. Not today. <laughs> well, good. Oh. Well, not so good, honestly. Could have done with some harm for the Nazis. We'll see. I didn't know it was, it was gonna be so Nazi centric. Yeah. Can we even it say really Nazis is. on fucking YouTube? I know, it's a little. They've been very intense lately scary. about what we can and can't say. Episode 4 The Queen of England. Oh my god, tell me we're taking a trip to the UK. <gasps> oh, drill me, daddy. Why is that what I was gonna say? Because that's what they wanted us to say. I've broken ground on our bookshelves. Oh. Gorgeous. Love to see it. I'm thinking about this. Where the design he took pictures <laughs> it's probably not smart to have a photo implicating him when they're gonna start getting murdered spend the rest of the day building your Nazi bookshelves maybe we just call them bookshelves and that might be they don't know what the fuck they're doing when we returned her car Kayla was so excited she can't wait to get to Michigan and start her new life and her baby is so adorable so cute <laughs> that has a different meaning to it now. That seems quaint. Yeah, they put a lot of thought into that. Well, we know you also like porn. <laughs> you could watch a few girls go at it for a while, and then we could shoot you in the back of the head. <laughs> yeah, no wrong choices. That sounds like a little more <laughs> fun. Uh huh. You said. You said, yeah. Kayla, you'd be ready to go. Exactly. We a deal's a deal. I want to live to see Kayla turn her life around. I want to see Haley grow up. Um, no. I feel like my life could still have meaning. If you guys want to kill me, I can't stop you. I mean, it is two against one. I mean, they want to. I mean, there's literally nothing he can do. He doesn't want to die. I know, but we can't keep a head in our basement forever. Y'all have to kill him. Kill him if he's begging us not to. I know. So we're on the same page. The same shitty page. Good morning, adults. How am I? Well, something happened yesterday you might want to know about. What was it? 
I met another undead person. <laughs> you found Gary. Yes. And boy, way to keep it interesting, guys. But I was actually talking about the girl who dated Eric for five minutes. Ramona. What? There's so many of them now. My date girl is undead? How's that even possible? How is it possible that Sheila is? I don't just run around biting people. I've never even met her. Yeah, how is this spreading? If we find out what you two have in common, we might finally understand what happened to me. I know. Uh. And figure out how this all started. I know. And see if other people have it. I know. Could be spreading. That's what I'm saying. We have to talk to Ramona. Any idea where she lives? Yeah, I can take you there. No, give us the address. We need to go to school. Seriously? Guys. She hasn't been there in days. One person in this family should have a normal life. Not totally normal. Someone's getting chocolate milk in their lunch today. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Can I ask one? Question about the Yummy. Sure. What the fuck? Gary was the first person I sampled, and we didn't know <laughs> he had to kill the brain. Destroying the brain is literally the one thing that everybody knows about the other. Yeah, well, um, that's true. They all just need to go to like family therapy. Mm -hmm. Hi, Ramona. Do you remember me? I'm oh Joel. My God. This is my wife, Sheila. Hello, Sheila. It's nice to finally meet you. Here, let mm. me help you with that. We just wanted to talk to you about. Jesus Christ. No, thank you. I'm not religious. It's dinner. It's my lunch. Oh, lunch, sorry. Why don't we go inside? That did look like a smaller portion for her. Yeah. Scared right. to see how big dinner is. I hold not. I'm okay. No, I'm not. I'm really bummed about Ramona. Yeah. I'm sorry that happened to you. So my parents freaked out when I told them about her. They're going to her apartment. Really? To tell her she never should have done me? No. He's so clueless. That's the best. Hilarious. There is other shit going on here, child. There is talking. Talk about that later. Yeah. Actually... Period. Have you been like this? About three weeks. Same with me. Great. And what did you do in the days before you turned? I went to the dry cleaners. Me too. Which one? Nanny's. Oh, we go to Chaz's. They're good with denim and they serve hot dogs. What else? Uh. <laughs> I, I hate that. Again, off of the <gasps> roof with my cousin. Oh my god. I... Was it Patty? Come on, Ramona. Where did you go where you might have been exposed to a virus? The day before I got sick, I went to my former job as an auctioneer. Oh, I can so see her being an auctioneer. I had a natural gift for it. The high energy, the rapid fire, musicality. Of Is the high energy in the room with us? <laughs> yeah. Sheila, would you like some jogger? Where did you get that guy? Rocky Peak Park. That's where I get all my joggers. So you're the one that killed the guy there last week. You left half a body behind. You have to take all the pieces with you, Ramona. Otherwise, it attracts attention, and that's bad for all of us. But people have so many parts. Now. She it's does hard. not give a fuck about anything. I have Joel to help me, but you don't have a Joel, so you have to be all new options. Well, girl, you're supposed to do the part cutting at home. Did you ever throw up a red ball? Yes. Wasn't that weird? <sighs> Where do you keep yours? In the freezer. Doesn't it get lonely? Huh? No. No. Oh my god. She's keeping hers as a pet. <gasps> oh! Why? Why does it have spider legs? I left it on a counter for a few days, and when I came back, it had legs. Smash it with a hammer. We need like a gavel, and it's just like, tch, you know. A fly swatter. I don't know if that would be enough. I want something heavy and circular. Janie, don't beg. You do not need to beg a man. Someone go give this girl a hug. He Ew. is the boyfriend in Paranormal Activity 4. <gasps> wow. And we just watched Lisa Frankenstein, Lisa Frankenstein. starring Catherine Newton. Yep. Also in Paranormal Activity 4. Yep. There's smoke coming from a trash can outside. Well, thank you for putting that responsibility on me. Sir, it's your job as a teacher. What is she gonna do? Hey, Christian, what's up? <gasps> oh, shit! That's Period! What That's my girl! That's what he gets. That's my sis. That is Don't my good sis. Test her. No, she will literally beat the fuck out of your face. Yo, Abby gets stabby. Oh, no, someone touched this one. <gasps> That was art. Abby is that girl. Guess who's here? Who is it? Oh, oh my god, she wants her Joel. You keep this in front of me, it's okay. Mom, please. Go. 
Please go, Mom. I'll be downstairs with headphones on. Their family's like relationship to sex is oh, very God. strange to me. I mean, yeah, he was saying he was going to sleep with his I'm cousin. Sorry. What are you doing here? I decided I need you back in my life. Oh, now you do. Right. Really? That sounds great. <laughs> and I never let you go. And she means it. She'll keep you in her intestine. Lassoed, <laughs> trapped. What are we going to do about Ramona? We can't have her leaving bodies around. No. Do you think we'll have to? I don't want to kill her. Good. She's the only one at that drugstore who gives a damn about customer satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Employee of the month. Oh my god. <gasps> that knight has Mr. Ballegs on his shield. And why is that? Mom! You were doing something. I swear to God, every time. They always are. Hey, Very. Didn't you guys invite Lisa for dinner tonight? <gasps> you know, to make up for you killing her husband and this one eating her. Oh God, we completely forgot. We have to cancel. We can't. This was the dinner to make up for the last one we canceled. Mm, if you cancel again, it might look like you don't know what you're doing. Oh my we God. know, Abby. We're bad at everything <laughs> because we're your parents. No, it's because prior to this, you led a mindlessly happy suburban existence, which left you fundamentally unprepared to deal with the life and death decisions. <laughs> She's so real for this. Moment. Let them know how, <laughs> like, so where they are. She stays oh, clocking God. them every chance she gets. Yeah. Can you go down to the basement and grab a bottle of wine? So, have you and Sheila come to any conclusions about my future? Soon enough. You're not gonna like the answer, Gare. I wanted to do the last couple days with filled bookshelves. With Sheila's situation, I'm never gonna do normal things again. Yeah. Never. You two are awesome. Really, you listen to each other. You make decisions together. I've never had that. I may never. Dude, you don't know that. You won't, honey. Let's face it now. I love the optimism. Hey, There's still a chance. Her life's always going to be bigger than yours. It's like being married to the Queen of England. Appreciate what you have, buddy. Try to turn it into something it's never going to be. He's kind of right, but I think Sheila's a little but more flexible than the girl. Queen of England. Yeah. Ramona! <gasps> oh. Do not bring that girl into this home. Ramona here wants me to go later with her to kill someone. <gasps> what? She said she wants me to be a oh. Any bells for anyone? Oh, love that. Well, we just went hmm. over today and told her she has to be more careful. Yeah, and that we realize how much harder she has it because she's all alone. They're gonna have to kill her. That's the only only way. Ramona, you can't just take Eric. Why not? He's perfect. He's little, so if he tries to run, I can catch him. And I'll do something small but memorable to his leg so he won't try again. Hobble him. We're gonna hobble him. Oh, he's in danger. I'll come with you. No. No, you're right. Too many cooks. <gasps> this is why we didn't need to um, take apart the weapon. What are you doing? I'm fucking the queen of England. What? This expression means no more looking back. I'm all in. Yep. Wow, he accepts her for who she is. Finally. Emma and I's ready. Let's Ooh. save the boy. <laughs> Abby, you go to your room and stay there. No way. Eric's my friend. I pushed him into this relationship. This time I don't. She him. did. She did. She didn't mean to. She was just trying to be a pal. You guys ready? Important. Uh, they're gonna be hungry if she didn't do that. Yep. They're gonna be thanking her. Mm -hmm. Why not in the oven though? We'd love a little crispy edge. Oh, we need the edge to be crispy burnt. Ramona, we need to talk. I know how hard it must be for you to live like this on your own, but if Eric doesn't want to go with you, it's not gonna work. Yeah, girl, just, just accept it. He is not gonna be good at hunting people. No, you do not want to take him with you. Then I'll bite him. I don't want to hunt with you. Girl, no. I think you are. I guess you're not. Lisa. Joel is serving slutty little waist. Oh my god, his little tight ass shirt that's a size too small, quite frankly. <laughs> this bitch has no clue what the fuck is going on except for in her girlfriend's. Oh my god. Same girl. Oh my Her dip God. does look good. It looked really Why good. Aren't you standing next to your girlfriend? She's not gonna bite. Uh, oh. Well. What a cute, weird couple you two make. I'll be back. Oh my God. She stresses me out. <gasps> Lasagna's done. Yeah. Surely not. Oh fuck. Is she about to die? No. Give it up, girl. She said, that's my man, that's bitch. That's right, bitch. This is it. This is who I am now. I'm the fucking queen of England. <gasps> oh. Okay, that's not the expression. And tomorrow, we're going to have a talk about this whole thing. Ramona, it's over. Just give up. But I want a Joel and not just a hook list. I want what you two have. 
Girl, that takes years of work and dedication. They are goals, but you can't replicate it. it no. You need chemistry. Chemistry, history, geography. Oh, the studies, honey. Mm -hmm. English. Often. But when you love someone, that doesn't matter because it's not about what you give up. It's about what you get. And I don't oh. feel like that much. So I guess if I'm going to find my Joel, the relationship should be built on more than just hurting his life. She's Girl. growing. I She's learning. Oh my God. What happened? Shrades. Ramona broke up with me and I am very upset. Oh. <sighs> Yep. Given the circumstances, I think we should reschedule dinner. Oh. Which I think we can all agree is different than canceling. Yep. Yeah, certainly. Dear this is not the time. I'm moving to Seattle, where perhaps someday I will meet my Joel. She was in and out pretty quick. I can't take Mr. Ball Damn. Home because of 9 11. So I'm leaving him behind. Girl, Please don't ask leave him the Hammonds to take care of him. <gasps> I left the key under the mat of my neighbor because it seemed too obvious to leave it under mine. She's so smart. XO, XO, surfing man emoji, Ramona. Surfing man emoji. He used to be Gary's pet. So we're keeping Gary. It felt good not to kill Ramona. I like not killing people. I've always liked her. I just forgot how much. That's not nice. true. He has such a big heart. Well, now that Ramona's gone, how are we going to find out what killed both of us? There's got to be a link. Are you sure you didn't go to any options? <clears throat> I think I would remember. <laughs> and I can't imagine how something like this would spread through and on. I don't know. Is he going to escape? It better not. Hon, didn't we eat at Jopopo's two nights before you got sick? Jopopo's. Jopopo's. on a Friday? Yeah. And didn't you have the clam special? <gasps> not the clams. Yeah. Why? So did Ramona. <gasps> clams? Shut your clam. What? Wow. What is happening? All right, we're on the clam trail. A clam caused her to be a zombie? What the That's hell? That's what they're telling us. Well, here we go into episode five, going pre-med. Oh my God. No telling what that means. I no hope she telling. was not trying to become a doctor because she doesn't need to be doing that. <gasps> oh my God, he's back. Oh. Let's What's his name? Him. Bert Buttkiss. Dead me? <laughs> Thoughts about killing? No, we're almost out of the circle. Boom. Boom. Hitler. The. You're gonna eat this bastard tits to teeth. Tits to teeth. It's an expression that means to eat all of something. No, baby, yeah. that's what I've heard. I think I heard that one. Me too. Killing people is hard. I used to think that was a good thing. <laughs> but you're getting better at it. It's getting easier and easier. I'm gonna get their receipts and find out if anybody else ordered the clams the same night as you and Ramona. If they did, I'll track them down. And if they turned, we'll know it was the clams. Then I'll try to save humanity. Tits the teeth. I heard it somewhere. The clams? That feels like too big of a coincidence for it to not be the clams. Her and Ramona both had them? But why would that be bad? Because they would ask for ID. Right. We have the same reason. I'm a documentary filmmaker working on a movie about tipping in the restaurant industry. He does oh, seem like a smarmy Hollywood producer. A whole documentary on tipping. It might expand what the hell? Areas, race, ageism, what have you. It would have to, sir. <laughs> My wife loves angels. She once thought she sold in Yosemite. Incredible! I might want to interview her on camera. That'd be great. In the meantime, I'd love to see your receipts from the past three weeks. Is it that easy? My wife's movie, right? Guess so. <laughs> You wrote a scathing Yelp review about us. <gasps> My cook recognized it from your picture. Why does he have his picture on there? That is so dumb. Anonymous is the way to go. Uh huh. The thing is, I have Yelp elite member status, so the integrity of my reviews. You know what? Joel, you're on my nerves, Daddy. No, 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 not on your phone, Mr. Integrity. Put some time into it. I'll come back tonight if I like it. I'll give you the receipt. Mm hmm. What was the issue? Is dying in this country. Don't put Literally. that on him. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. This bar with? She's crazy. Like 20 minutes. Yeah. I'm not even tired. I have a lot of energy lately. I give up dairy. You should see what her teeth can do. I can imagine so being a sheriff. I was thinking about Lisa. Very physical and energetic lover. In the beginning, I think she killed Dan. Oh. Let's plant that seed and water it and watch it grow. Speaking of Dan, any news on the investigation? No. Hmm. A lot of people have gone missing from Santa Clarita lately. 
too many, if you ask me. Is anyone asking you? Uh, were they all no. chewed up and swallowed and shot out Sheila's ass? Yeah, yeah, has she found any of the bodies? Are connected, but my boss hmm. won't listen to me. Just a deputy. It sounds like a lost cause. You should <laughs> Focus more on you. What makes Anne happy? I, I like to paint. We'll put your energy into that. What else? Yeah. I like gardening. Well, then you should grow some flowers, put them in a vase, and paint them. Do it all. Put it on a schedule and yeah. just do that only. I'm going to do what I want, and I'm going to look into these missing people myself and see if there's a connection. Oh, my oh. God. You're pushing it a little too far now, girl. Sure. So inspired. I'm going to do a bonsai tree. That's gardening and art. Oh, my God, girl. Give it up. Surely give up their wings for one trip to Jipopo's all you can eat penne bar. That does sound good. Really? You're being sarcastic, right? No. It's bad. Shit. Did AI write that? Okay, what is going on with you? You don't want to smoke. You're in the hospital. You might want to go away before you get sucked up in this too. Stop asking questions, daddy. Next thing you know, you're in a blender. Just don't disappear on me, man. I'm not oh, to. honey, you'll be the one oh, that disappears. Hugging, that's so nice. Don't stop on my account, but when you're done, Joel, I really need to talk to you. Mm -hmm. We're good. Oh, left him with Bye a little present. So, I was boxing with Anne, and she thinks that all the missing people in Santa Clarita might be connected. <gasps> no. Why would she think that? I tried to convince her to let it go, but with almost poetic irony, I inspired her to get to the bottom of it. That's she's, how it happens. You know, she's too encouraging. What's important now is that we have to be careful because Anne is interested in our crime. And we have Gary's head and a mutant spider ball with legs in the basement. Yeah, they need to get rid of the head. Before someone shows the up. Little rotting head. Literally. Good morning, outlaws. I want to talk to you about yesterday when you were choking Ramona with your belt. That was quite a moment. Yeah. She loved it. Something to circle back to. How are you feeling? Fine. I saved my best friend's life. I promise not to make a habit out of choking people. Okay? But I'm late. Okay, well, we worry about you. Don't. I'm okay. What's to worry about? Abby has everything under control. Uh, more than them. I just got kind of busy, so can we put you in charge of dinner tonight? Sure. And since I'm in charge, I want you to order in Thai food, okay? Love you. Oh. <laughs> Easy. Yep. Next. Ordering oh, yeah. We should try that. If it's too risky to kill Boone in his house, we should have him delivered. Interesting. Go on. So but don't you have to add in your card and phone? Yeah. Our whole operation. I agree. We have been erring on the side of incompetence, some of us more than others. So I was thinking, screw you, we get a storage I was thinking, screw him too. <laughs> Sheila. Then we line the room with plastic and move the freezer into it. So we can easily clean everything up. Easy. So easy. Next, and no one will ever go in there. Why do I have to move? You'll be happier here. We'll get you a TV. Maybe plug in a lava lamp. Prove it. Aesthetic. You barely visited me in the basement. Are you ever going to visit me when I'm halfway across town? Never. Of course we will, Gary. It's only a chore if you make it a chore. Then we find a way to lure Boone into the kill room. Should oh, we wow. add swastika? I don't want to draw a swap. <laughs> well, we should add something intolerant. <gasps> Gotta to appeal to the worst of the worst. Oh my god. And I bet they're gonna complain about that 10%. Oh, too. it's not enough. We want 20. Hey, I'm white. Hey, Eric. <laughs> Did you know they're gonna start fracking like four miles from here? <gasps> yeah, oh, we were just shit. talking about it in an environmental club. Abby? There's a rumor you were expelled for whacking Christian with that tray. Well, Not expelled, honey. She was praised. No, exactly. Gone. There's another rumor that Christian was crying in the locker room, but then other people said that it wasn't him. It was just some random guy that doesn't even go to the school. It was blind. Mm. Some people have more important things to talk about. They're going to start fracking in Santa Clarita. Someone needs to stop them. People shouldn't be able Someone to do whatever should. they want and just get away with but it. But no one <laughs> will. Abby will try. They're going to be like, girl, you got to come to school. You've missed three weeks. <laughs> Literally. You're failing everything. Eric, there's fish from the ocean and meat from the land. This sucks. <laughs> Joel, it's you not that say. hard. The fire. It worked. He's going to swing by the storage unit at four. It's happening, baby. We're going premeditated. We're going pre-med. Oh, my Yay. God. First degree. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of ironic. The more care you put into a murder, the harsher society judges you. Yeah, I wonder why. Carl just mansplained to me how to work a lockbox. I smiled, said thank you, and didn't pull out the vocal cords he used to insult me. Yay! She's getting better. She doesn't need a chain or a leash. Including my friendship with Anne. It's too risky. I'm gonna break it off. Good. We really do have to be careful. Mm -hmm. We have to watch what we say and who we say it to. But Joel. you don't ever do that, Joel. Yeah, he's really talking a lot. <gasps> Literally, the guy he told is right here. I, I saw you. <gasps> he knows. And I was like, 
That is my friend Joel from the mental hospital. I wonder how <laughs> Is this your wife? <laughs> <gasps> wow, how oh insensitive for Oh my god, Ryan. <laughs> oh, she's pissed. Talk to you for a well, here we go. Let me tell you what I think happened. Mm. You can correct me if I'm wrong, all right? You gave me a hard time for befriending him, which could expose us. While knowing full well you told this guy that I was undead, which totally exposes us. Mm -hmm. Are you missing anything? I'm sorry, but he's crazy. I figured if he ever did get out, nobody would believe him anyway. Totally gave me up. You put both of us in jeopardy and the way you described me? <laughs> I go for the guts first. Do you even wow. Yeah, because she's okay. a gutsy gal. She's a woman. I'll go talk to Ron and I love you. We don't say that enough. Say it to her face. Better start showing it a little better. My wife is not undead, right? So I actually know some people in paranormal circles that would love to meet her. Maybe watch her eat someone. Oh, Wouldn't my that God. be a treat? She's not undead. If you tell anyone she is, really, if she kills me, I'm gonna kill you. You understand? <gasps> Jeez. Don't say anything. Better watch out, boy. I feel like he's gonna be like. Let's not let that. Between what we have. I feel like a power he's player. fully simping over Joel. Oh, of course. He wants I don't him. like that he has a secret over Joel. He could use that for sex or something else. He can't be trusted right now. He, oh, right. oh my god. Oh, and we just watched How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days on the channel, right. which he is he's in. in I'm gonna call your bluff. I don't think you have anything. You behave like a rabid dog. It will not stand. Confess. If you had any proof, you would have called my parents. Caught. Okay. I don't have any evidence. No, you don't. So I cannot punish you nope. for your trade outburst, but you have several unexcused absences, which I can punish you for. So oh, about... sweetie, they're Get excused. Get over it. They're going to be excused. A month? Oh, Principal Novak, please, my family is going through this very complicated thing right now. I don't want to be away from home not that much. Month. Oh, not such a cocky Carolyn now. <gasps> you just want to say <laughs> HR? Mm -hmm. Yeah, why is he literally saying to a student. Yeah. Oh, That's weird. What if she joined the environmental club instead? That's a great idea. Sorry, madam. The loose goose does not escape the moose. Noose. Are you sure we can't work something out? <laughs> because it'd just be such a shame if I didn't compete in the final science Olympiad this year. Would it be a shame? Well, he's a Maybe fucking genius, him. so Maybe if they want him. points at the fucking tournament, yeah, huge Does loss. To know that? Holy shit, what a badass. Eric the badass. I like it. Put that on a shield with my dragons with it. I really love that. You Supposed should. Supposed to get lunch in the environmental club? Yeah, we're gonna get those crackers. Tits to teeth. <gasps> I told my mom that was a thing. Okay. Abby. She started it. Hey. She's a troll. Tray girl. Right? Tray girl. This? I was, that was really cool what you did to Christian in the cafeteria yesterday. Yeah. Violence is cool. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know, Tray girl. Like your phone number. Oh my god, that's so good. Tray girl. Mm -hmm. Walks in, hey fuckers, where's your Nazi memorabilia fuckers? And then when he crosses to the trunk and bends down to open it, oh. one of us takes a bite out of his neck. I suggest you. So what I, I think oh, so. Yeah. around telling strangers that your wife is undead. You said I was sorry about that. She's no, never gonna let him let that no. down. Here's a way to remember it. Inside of every butt is an asshole. That's very helpful. However... We should drop it because boom will be here any minute. I think our kill room looks too much like a kill room. Oh, yeah. Don't invite the police over. Boone! Oh, I didn't recognize your voice on the phone. Honey, it's Boone. It is Boone. Boone? Boone. What? Boone no Boone. way. Boone. Oh, it's a clean room. It's what museums do to protect their priceless artifacts. Yeah. Oh, speak to your raiders. Oh, did you lose your jobs to Mexicans? He right needs now. to <laughs> suffer. Quarter him. I gotta get my friend. He's the expert in this stuff. Bring him. We're hungry. We can't kill two people. Well, we, can. we can. Oh, we can and we will. I promise you that she has superpowers. We're just gonna go for it. New plan. She works quick. Her mind's always working. So she has so much energy. Whereas it's like Joel, do you even know where you are right now? He's trying to keep up best he can. What if one of the Nazis is in a wheelchair? <gasps> God, I hope that's not the time philosophical question. Does this just get easier or harder? You're gonna have to eat the chair too. Killing him feels discriminatory. Or is it discriminatory not to kill him? I think if someone is a Nazi that qualifies them, that they should be eaten. That's it. I think that you should literally roast his ass. Mm -hmm. He needs to feel it. And then pick him out of your teeth later. Actually, there's been a change of plans. We're no longer selling. I know what's going on here. You were all set to sell till you saw me in his wheelchair. What? <gasps> this is discrimination. You're discriminating against me. Girl. Discriminate? You people 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Projecting. People in wheelchairs? No, I don't care about the wheelchair. Shame on you. I hate this show. It's so stupid. I don't want to be treated differently than anybody else, you gypsy nose. <gasps> I mean. Go get your yeah. knife and your fork. Dig in. You know what? She tried really hard to be civil. <gasps> oh. Oh. Will do. Well, who's next? We've got a whole team of them. You're sighing a lot over there, Chief. I just watched my wife do something. I've seen her do this thing before, but it's not something I ever get used to. You never will either. No. Her way into my stomach. You don't have to be coy. She ripped two dudes' throats out of their necks like they were Twizzlers. Whoa. Oh, yum. And she enjoyed them. She gets this look in her eye. The next thing you know, she's yanking intestines out of these guys. <laughs> the magician, pulling out scarves. Oh, oh my God. God. She's hungry. The kitchen looked like someone shot a person out of a confetti gun. It was a dick in my fruit bowl. My Baby, my some people just call that a banana, paper. okay? I guess somebody did need to talk. It's not like I can talk about this to my friends. Yeah, me low, me not having anyone to talk to. We're tired of hearing about it, bro. You got yourself in that situation. Sorry, but is not a real apology. He'll learn. She already tried to tell him that. Oh, girl. <laughs> she went cross-eyed for a second Get talking her. about that meat. Get her a wet wipe. I shouldn't have given you a hard time about making friends with Anne. Oh. Really? He lives his secret life and that can make us feel alone sometimes, so... Get why you'd want to reach out to people. Exactly. <gasps> you get her. That doesn't excuse it. No. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Thank no. you. Please. Just. Just wait a minute. Huh. I want to see Joel with some blood on his face. Yes, we agreed on that. Thank you for saying it. No, I mean I was wrong. That's all anybody wants to hear. Chipopos. I'm we sorry. Go. I was wrong. Wow. Period, Joel. He knows. Woman that you met. Yeah. What's her name? Shu. <gasps> I'm sorry, I can no longer discuss it. Buddy, you called us. We Uber pulled all the way up from Earth. What? If you don't give us something useful, I will personally ban you from the paranormal subreddit. You won't be able to post. Oh, that's miserable. No. That is his entire reason for living. The man will crumble. looking for Serbian bile. So whatever you can tell us would be greatly appreciated. I saw your husband coming out of this restaurant yesterday, and he seemed very agitated. Agitated. Interesting. <gasps> oh my god. Why? We have to find these people. It's our sacred task. <gasps> Why does he have a tattoo of the meatball? I'm sorry, I hate to be that guy, but I asked for my dressing on the side. Bitch. Wow. So what, are they like hunting them or something? I don't want to know. But I'm desperate to find out more. I'm gagged. We're halfway. We are. Well, and we're moving right along to episode six, Passion. Here we go. De Popos. Calzone, eggplant parm, mushroom pizza, no clams. I went through all these Jopopos receipts. It's making me hungry. Can we go to Not for Jopopos. Uh-uh. Hey, if I ask I'm you scared. a boy question, will you promise not to be weird? Does I don't think Joel can ever scared? promise not to be weird about no. anything. He asked me out, so we're getting coffee today. Do I tell Eric who likes me and may be really hurt, or do I not tell him which feels like I'm hiding it because Sven is hot and spent a summer in Greece playing guitar? Does Sven know you better than I are constantly looking for people to kill? Dad. Okay. Eric is your friend. I think that helps he Eric's so case. She needs to tell Eric because he's gonna find out anyways. Hi guys. Sexy oh. mama. This is the final one. Bad Sandy, hello. Someone didn't read my first Yelp review. If you like capers, try a March Brothers movie because you won't find any in this bacata. I feel like he spends a lot of time on these reviews. He certainly does. Joel, put your only, time towards something better. He's only written 22, according to his profile. Well, we Googled him. He's single, retired, and he thinks that a profile picture is literally a profile. If he's undead, clams are definitely the oh source of the food. Hell alone could be a coincidence, but three people is a pattern. Wait, he is so undead. Guys, this is huge. If we know it's the clams, we can stop it from spreading. We could literally save the world. It's all up to us. Then let's go find that food. Ooh, today's not good. Mm. Honey, it's the world. We have that meeting <laughs> with Carl, and then we're pitching to that investor. Your job is also important. Yeah, y'all gotta make money. That's right. What could possibly 
possibly be more important than saving the holy shit it's <laughs> Bro, she's already dickmatized she's gone you go talk to ed and if he's undead we know it's the clams and if he's feral we go back together and make him regular oh he's feral time. I'm going to take that meeting with Carl. Anyone who's around Joel is feral, okay? No, know that. I'm just going to act like old Sheila, who's demure and chipper. <laughs> we and love old Sheila, too. Awesome ...while eating a man's liver. <laughs> mm. Judging by your look, I haven't mentioned oh. that before. <gasps> no. Oh! I just never know what to say. Joel can't please her like that. <laughs> I'm very happy for her. Hey. Dancer, right? No. Salsa mama. Yeah. I'm an outstanding dancer. Perfect. Lisa's birthday's coming up and I want to take her dancing. She loves the tango, but I don't know the first thing about it. Can you teach me? The thing is, I'm a little busy. Joel. Why would he even say girl? any of that? I could do it anytime. Work around your schedule. She's just trying to get okay. in. Great. How's because she things? knows they're guilty as fuck. Okay. Yeah. Bible study at nine. It's three hours no time. Okay, perfect. Bible study at nine? Bye, Sheila. Oh. And. Plus the fog. She makes me nervous. And. You said you were busy, and I backed you up. All you had to do was stick with that. I'm worried about you talking to Ed Thune without me. No, he Stop. folds like laundry. Oh, He's so Can we please leave Father nervous. Out? The way you froze with Anne, if you do that with Colonel Thune and he's gone Thune. feral, you're going to end up wearing your intestines as a necklace. I'll just take the place out, see what I can learn. I promise I'll be the coward you want me to be. Thank you. <laughs> you can't really, like, Don't tell me. just okay. by looking at him. Okay. Okay. He's not going to know just looking at him. No. Here is the satellite image of the fracking site. I have a date. Oh. Spill. What? I'm sorry, that was the wrong way to do that. I thought it would be better if you found out from me than someone else. There's this guy. Girl. Sven. Cool. Cool. Oh, he knows he Sven. Handsome Sven, who was on Good Morning America after he saved his little brother from a shark attack for another totally non threatening Sven. <laughs> that never would be the one. one. Everyone knows so Sven. The shark wasn't even that big. So. <laughs> Are you okay with it? No, don't go it's comparing not. fin sizes. You were happy for me when I went out with Ramona, so. I'm happy for you because if life has taught me anything, it's that human emotion is all about fairness. Well, thank you sure. for trying Aww. and failing to be cool. Kind of my driggity dram. He oh, is cool knows. in a way because kindness is cool. And this man is not cool, and so he's not kind. And she can't hold her cool. And she's one of a kind. I also picked up some of those danishes your doctor doesn't let you have. You are bad. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Oh, so good. What a fucking dickhead. Oh, I can't. I'm on a new diet. I can only eat meat. I will literally throw up on you. <laughs> Do it, girl. Who's stopping you? Fuck me for being generous. What's his deal? Being here this afternoon to hear the concepts for the first six houses. Yeah, I know, Carl. You're reading off a memo I wrote to you. Whoa! You are rough in the morning. Oh, Nobody hell no, bitch. She better him. eat his ass. <laughs> Literally. And not pleasurably. There's this article in the New York Times about smart homes. I'm, I'm going to stop you right there. People don't give a shit about sustainability. They want big beige boxes. Actually, are you sure? According to this study, many new home buyers. Sheila. Big beige boxes is how we make money. Now, if you want to be a part of that, your job is to smile and back up everything I say. Understand? I wouldn't want to back up anything he says. Bitch, we're going to back you up into your grave. <laughs> Asking a woman to smile with more teeth? Oh, yeah. show, show him his last moments. Mm -hmm. What the fuck is wrong with your eyes? Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> I was just thinking about how she was gonna chomp the shit out of him with those teeth that he wants to see so bad. Chomp his little fucking baby carrot off. Oh, Joel. He's so suspicious. <gasps> oh. Colonel and Ray Bans, fashion daddy. Mr. Thune? <laughs> what you Thune, sir? That told me nothing. What you Thune in there? <laughs> Oh, he's just gonna go kill him. He should have taken some food and offered it to him the way that mm. Sheila couldn't eat. I'm Mark Mill Taylor, Esquire, and I'm putting together a lawsuit against a local eatery, Chipotle. He looks if like a Martin. Recently, you may be entitled to a share of a very large settlement. Sorry, son, I've never been there. Now, if you'll excuse me. You are Ed Thune, right? Why are you lying? Colonel Ed Thune. <laughs> I can't stop saying this is your Thune. Issue, isn't it, Colonel? Oh, Chipotle's. <laughs> 
Yeah, How could you forget? Italian place on Soledad. I completely forgot. Did you? Just ask you a few questions. Did Marty. you? Come on, Ann. Marty. Marty's a liar, bitch. You can just talk here. Nonsense. You're letting all the cold air out. Come inside. <gasps> it's a daddy okay. off. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, is he scary and trying to hurt him, or is he just being polite and they're just like want you to think he's? Surely he's about to munch down on that snack. Everyone wants a piece of Joel. Okay, that's good. Except, I got you lost. Boy, boy, you better just stay with Ramona forever because that's it for you. Are you under stress? A little. I'm working on a project with my boss, and he doesn't like the newer, bolder me. Maybe you should quit the project. I can't. Why not? It's only money, and everyone with money says money's not important. They do if say that. If I can't that. control my emotions, then I can't function in the world. I don't want to go through life only being undead. She's I more than a zombie. Don't... For all we know, your eye could pop out and, well, take somebody's eye out. This is a complicated medical condition. Maybe I will style my hair differently. And then one will see. Yeah, you'll have to, girl. Just to be safe. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Wandering around Greece playing my guitar was like a dream. But after a month, I woke up and I realized that I had traveled halfway around the world and I had taken all my problems with me. So I went home. Right, but now I'm just the He's guy so who adventurous. Talks yeah, why do I know so much about him already? It's a little too much. What is your deal? You know, very know. forward. Let's see, what can I tell you? What Not much. Can I tell you my parents are realtors a co-worker of theirs was staying in our basement for a while he was a handful and uh oh here's something i just found out i'm really boring on dates Oop. you're not boring you hit christian in the face with a freaking lunch tray mm -hmm. let's talk about it the girl who did that has a story to tell oh she certainly does yeah she does and we're listening here's the microphone man well i saw what he did to jamie and then it's like i felt this quiet overwhelming rage she is her mother's daughter it was so strong i picked that lunch tray up without even feeling it i'm not sure she was so quiet jamie. the next thing i remember is the sound of the hard plastic hitting his face it was awesome <laughs> that's when i got scared i was scared that i'd done anything wrong i was scared how good it felt to hurt him she Girl. is her mother's daughter. Yes. <laughs> anyway, hey, that's me. Um, what have you been up to since you got back from Greece? She's just a silly right, girl right, like doing silly things. Uh, photography. I like the paddleboard. Photography. Do you have a good camera? Huh. So your popos were selling bad clams. Don't act like you so, don't uh, know. Some people got pretty sick. Really? How sick? Did they vomit? Why they would he ask that? Tell on yourself, Colonel. Thank God. I hate food poisoning. Good thing I didn't have the clams, Martin. You didn't. Are you sure? Positive. I'm a vegan. It's just strange because the receipt says you did have the clams. Paper trail. Mm. My date must have had the clams. I had a salad. What? Uh, they, Who is this man you were with? Did your date get sick? I don't know. I haven't heard from her since that night. Oh, I'm sure you so, ate her. Mm-hmm. Barbara? She's nowhere to be found. I have her phone number written on a post-it out in the kitchen. Why don't you come with me and we can chat some more? Uh-uh, Joel. Get, get your little behind hammer. Behind this door. <gasps> no. I'll stay here and yeah. <laughs> clock. Yeah. I've just made some Danish. Oh. These fresh apples from the tree in my backyard. It's delicious. Danish. But is he eating them? You can eat Danish? I'm a vegan. Not a monster. Of course I eat Danish. I would like to see it. I would like to see that Danish. Me and Joel are Together. one in the same. My, so insane. My it twin flame, insane, baby man. boy. Okay. My twin flame, actually. Well, I have the same thought. My twin flame, so, daddy. So, how about that pastry? Try it down on the table. Help yourself. Oh. Why? Oh. Why are you asking? Boy. Pardon the mess. I'm painting. Those Bro. Paint. I haven't bought the paint, but you bought the tarps. They didn't have the color I wanted. Is that okay with you, guy who just walked into my house? We Hostile. Together. You said Barbara might be sick. I want to get you her number. Why is... I'll bet you it's in the basement. Let's go to my basement. <gasps> I'm not going to your basement. I have a problem with stairs. Stream vertigo. Joel is so obvious. What is he it. doing? Let's go to my basement. Did sound kind of creepy. Yeah. Yes, sir. It's just, that's where my office is. I just redid it. Your you office? I'm doing it again. I'll be right back. This man is a man eater. Okay. The Danish. They do look good, but are they poison? <gasps> oh, God. Oh, <laughs> shit. What's in there? 
Macaroni oh salad. Oh god, oh god, he's one of those. Trace. Close it! Oh my god. Sir. Find anything interesting? So this development is more upscale, but there's no reason to reinvent the wheel. Exactly. Why would anyone want to reinvent a wheel? So smart. Houses that we know people like. I was hoping for something more forward thinking, disruptive, like Uber, but it's a house. What? Make it make sense. None of these men ever we make have sense. Another eco friendly idea that you might be uber interested in. Great. Love to hear it, but give me a minute. My brother's contesting the will. Gotta go get your money. Why the fuck did you say that you had another idea? Because we're losing him, Carl. He wants something different. Carl sucks. Yeah. What he wants. I can't stand his ass. What do you mean? Me. If you can't do that, then go on back to the kiddie pool. You understand? It sounds like you need to be in the kiddie pool. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because you're losing. Change Look, she's about to bite her own finger off just to stop from eating his fucking nose off. Sorry about that. My brother and my father's nurse think they're smarter than me. And they're not. I don't want to know what they're shady different. shit this family is entangled in. I think Carl's idea is the way to go. Don't step over here to the easel. Let me show you what I'm talking about. She's going to bite her finger off. I've been in this business a lot longer. I know what's so. Trust me. <gasps> no, please. Sometimes you just want to. <gasps> Why were you rummaging through my freezer? Mark? No. I was just looking for ice cream to put on my Danish. You can take your Danish to go, son. Son. So he's daddy. He is. He confirmed it himself. I would really like us to eat it together. Is that necessary? Yeah. It's no fun eating it alone. Okay. Those look good. They look so good. Damn, that's good. Boy, that is good. I'm not convinced. I'm sorry about all this. I'll get out of your hair. Thanks for Barbara's number. Well, I hope she's all right. Did yeah. he swallow? Nice meeting you, Martin. <gasps> no, no. Oh, oh bitch. <sighs> Fucking duh, like. <gasps> oh. I'm gonna need that spin back. Fuck. He runs like a fucking. I don't know what that was. Not a track star. Oh my god. <gasps> Looking for this. Joel. Joel. It's so messy. Up. Oh, not his chilly <laughs> hands. That can keep you from going feral. Oh, too late. <sighs> Okay, we're past that. Oh my. Whoa. I do like a, a man who can growl. Oh, so he is a dancer. Yes, Joel. <gasps> <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> oh! How are you soon? <laughs> oh. Wow. How romantic. <gasps> Oh, See ya, Grandpa. The roses are a nice touch. <gasps> uh uh. You Stop on it. Back. Stop. <gasps> oh my god. Wow. Sven. <gasps> oh my god, not Sven. <laughs> Eric. Should have known. He said, I never spent a summer in Greece. Should have known it was that loser, Eric. Just kidding, I love Eric, everyone. I don't want to hold my feelings in until my eyes pop out. I'm not ready to hear any details. The day didn't go well. Tell me everything. I couldn't tell him anything new about myself. I mean, my life's just gotten so big and crazy. The only person I can really share it with is, well, you. There's only one man. Yeah. Not being able to connect with Sven must have made you sad and disappointed. One man for the job. Your tragic love life makes you really happy, doesn't it? No. I got Sven to take me to the fracking site. He has this really fancy camera, so we didn't need to get too close. The guards thought we were just teenagers taking pictures of each other, you know, before we banged it out on the hood of his Mazda. What? Look at this fence. Wow. Right there, there's a tree. We love a Photoshop moment. This billboard can be seen from the highway. That's where we make our statement. Oh. Wow. Are you in? So you in? I am in. They are too cute. Yeah. They need to just... I found the guy, and it was the clan. Join hands. Oh, collide. In marriage or whatever that means. What were you saying about clans, Joel? You seemed pretty agitated. I was discussing a private seafood matter with my wife. Anne is nosy as hell. Now, you want me to teach you how to tango? Here's how I tango. Make it quick. <laughs> These moves may be unorthodox. <gasps> oh, oh, tummy. But on the dance floor... Joel. Yes, sir. And you got plenty of that, daddy. Oh. oh my god, he's so fucking sexy. She loves them all riled up. Tango. Lisa, 
also wanted a blender for her birthday. So yeah, maybe you should that. go with that. Bye, Sheila. Bye, yeah. We Bye. like the Bye. show. Bye. We appreciate Bye. it. Oh, Timothy, the man you are. Get him on Dancing with the Stars. You can Ola in my font any day of the week. Oh. Just another day in the park for him. Wow. His reactions to her trauma and harm <laughs> he's, are always hilarious. It's really funny. Because he's just like, not again. But he knows there's nothing he can do. Well, here we go into episode 7, Change of Heart. Wow. What does that mean? Are they like, I feel like they mean literally. Like they're like exchanging people's hearts or something. Oh god, probably. With this show? <laughs> ah, girl. Did you figure out? Obviously, it was an accident. She How needed a fidget toy. An appendage? Because I was trying to keep my shit together around Carl, who I didn't kill, by the way. Lucky him. <laughs> no Huge. Fine. Huge for her. It's a clean bite. Maybe there's a way to stick it back alone. This is giving Death Becomes Her. It's giving Lisa Frankenstein. Get Lisa to stitch it up for you, girl. Is this your toe? <gasps> I. Girl. In the freezer. Not in the oh, junk drawer. <sighs> no, that's not it. So badly that the investor wants to hear my idea. So you and I are gonna go present it to him tomorrow. Oh, you can't be real, Carl. You're chewing off pieces of yourself. Carl won't be there. Well? He's so humiliated that he claims he'll be busy golfing with all the living presidents. They do not want to hang out with him. Carl may not be at that meeting, but there'll be a hundred more meetings. By the time we finish this project, you'll just be a mouth on a chair. Well. A mouth I would still proudly call my wife. Well, I'll need to use that mouth too. I don't want to stop living just because I'm undead. <gasps> oh my god. Did you see where it went? <gasps> Under the fridge, babe. Someone get the broomstick. How long what? has that been down there? Y'all have had the same fridge for 16 years? Some people do that. Why? <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Tomorrow we go to Chipopo's posing as a father son seafood company. He can't go, he was pretending to make a documentary. Yeah, he's booked. Oh no. Gotta go. Or come in. Okay. Please. I'm tired of seeing her innards. If we said it, there's a chance it can go back to norm. Oh, as you could say, you had an accident. Joel and I were thinking crab trap, right, Dad? <laughs> we're not posing as father-son seafood distributors. Dad, I can see it. He thinks I'm making a documentary about tipping. My plate is way too full. Yeah. Sure. I get it. Everyone I always just it. rejects him all the time. It's kind of sad. So this was a reaction to your boss. You should send Abby over there with a lunch tray. She'll straighten him out. <gasps> what do you mean? Yeah. What do you mean? The tray thing. What tray thing? What tray thing? Ooh, what tray thing? they don't know. I can't believe Abby smashed a boy in the face with a tray. They were already thinking she had anger issues too from yep. so wow. what's the plan? Father of the year information, but she doesn't know that. Oh they are so ridiculous. I can hear you. Oh fucking die. I have some unprompted honesty I'd love to share with you. <laughs> I hit someone with a tray. He was being a dick to his ex-girlfriend online. Oh, people can be jerks, Abby. You can't attack them like that. Mom, you kill and eat people. Kill and eat people because I have yeah, to. Yeah, not by choice. I tray because I had to. Your mother has a medical condition. That comparison is offensive. Well, she has a medical condition where she has to be hit with a tray in the face. Okay? Exactly. In the future, you could get expelled. I'm not getting expelled. Principal Novak couldn't get anyone to talk. You don't seem to have any remorse. I don't. None. <laughs> He's a dickhead. Are we raising a monster? I don't know. She's seen so much crazy stuff. Like Not a monster. My finger is oozing again. <gasps> oh, God. It's so overwhelming. 
Mm -hmm. Abby is stopping a clam plague, and now work's gotten weird. A new sheriff neighbor is looking at the murder of our old sheriff. How are they even functioning? And this has all happened within like three weeks. Yeah. It's a cool documentary about a juggler. You should watch it. I'm not going to watch it. That's a great twist. Tell me about it. He has four wives and 18 children, and none of them knew about each other. Of course. He was juggling balls and things. I would have liked to have watched that. You can still watch it. No. You ruined it. I love them. I wish that they could just exist exist together. Yeah. I can't believe you guys are actually making me do this. You'll this is some bullshit, Sheila. Starting now, we're gonna be more hands-on. And lesson number one is when you do something wrong, you take responsibility. By turning yourself into the police. <gasps> it's still on you. You apologize to the loved ones you've left behind. I'm done, your turn. She's not wrong. So blackmailing me into saying something I don't believe is your idea of good parenting? Are you admit? Period. Oh my god. I'm sorry, but Joel and Sheila are on my last damn nerve right now. This is stupid. Hello, we're Joel and Sheila. Hammond. Well, they have to, you know, parent their daughter. So I believe you know our daughter Abby. I've seen her. She came here today to apologize. <laughs> Tight. Come on in. I'm one half of a father-son seafood oh distribution company. He's not smooth enough to be doing anyway, this. No. My dad can't be here. Well, not that he's an absent father. Just stop talking. talking. What do you want? We want to be your new seafood distributor. We could do it on a trial basis. Maybe start with clams. Who sells you your clams? We don't serve a lot of clams. Maybe that's because people are swimming with the wrong clamors. What did you say a clam guy oh. name was? Well, you could bring in a clam clams. guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm the clam guy. My father and I respect your decision to stay with. Who did you say your clam guy was? Oh my god. Bro, that was not a good no effort. No tact. No one on this show fucking has a clue what's going on. And you don't look like you sell clams. No. <laughs> Get a mouthful of that corn dog, baby. That corn dog smells really great. It's the last one. So, <laughs> what Abby came to say was, I really am sorry. You but don't have to be. so wrong in your early relationships with women that you ended up being such an irredeemable douchebag. Yep. Lay it on him. <laughs> relationships with women are so messed up, then why did I have sex at age 13? Um. Boom. What? Whoa, buddy, there's a lot to unpack there. <laughs> Please, let's keep it civil. Oh, no. Shit. <laughs> Chris, Krista, Christian is your son? Christian. What are you doing in our house? Our daughter felt great remorse for hitting your son with a tray and came to apologize. She hit our son with a tray? She oh, beat his ass, ass, daddy. Are you okay? Did she hurt you? Mom, I'm fine. You didn't know? They, they wouldn't have even so known. Important. No one would have known. The school call us. Because there wasn't any proof. Well, now there is proof, isn't there? I'm not following and we have to scoot. You just admitted it. Your daughter <laughs> assaulted our son. And we're going to notify Principal Novak and have her expelled. That's not how it works. Is, you two came over here and told us something we never would have known. You're right, girl. And now we are going to strap it on and fuck you with it. Go mom. How would you like it if I put my foot so far up your perfect little ass that you won't find it again until you shit it out on Christmas morning? <laughs> Go mom. Sheila, what is your safe word? Because I want to know what to ignore when I'm making you my bitch. Then I'm into I this. Th these it's four hard. need to fuck. Literally. Okay? The sexual tension is so high in the room. Sorry, Abby, you gotta go. Wow, I think this has shown us why everyone here has such fucked up kids. All these do. True. So, okay, so this goes back to high school with yeah. them, like, way far back, girl. Oh my god. Boy, what are you Get doing? Get out of here. Not the minimum wage being 475. They don't want to pay shit around here. Why? He thinks he's slick, but he's bumpy. Get home soon. We have that investor meeting in an hour. Let's bail and get food. We are staying here until he gets home, and you can say you're sorry for what you did. I'm not sorry. We don't care. Nope. You need to tell him that you are. Yeah, because you don't want Chris and Krista to win. Because we are overwhelmed and we don't know if our family's going to make it. Yeah, it's rough. It's just not teaching I'm the sorry, best lesson. But say you want to be included in our world. It's been really hard lately, sweetie. We feel like we're failing you as parents. What She's still wee bit. Girl, your mom's dead. What do you think? Does she know what's going on around here? Oh my god. <laughs> you run. better run, bitch. Not the ice cream. You better yep. save it. Yeah, if there's one thing you're gonna save. What do you want from me? First of all, 
scoop. A scoop. Hey, second, thanks for not pressing charges after I broke some things in your lovely home. The reason we're here is because Abby has something to tell you. Right, Abby? I did hit Christian with a tray. I knew it. Ooh. I knew it. I'm sorry for the trouble I caused everyone. When I saw Christian posting text from Janie and how humiliated she felt, I snapped. Tell him. I had to help her. This is a brave woman. Coming forward was the right and correct thing to do. Now you are expelled. What? Well, hold on. Our daughter is a hooligan. I can't stand this, man. Are, and now she is expelled. <gasps> oh, okay. I'm going to go inside and I'm going to have two scoops of sherbet because my grandmother is away. And, and also, I'm it's sherbet. It's not a sherbet. Sherbet. <gasps> Her finger was in the door. I know Sheila. she didn't just walk away with her finger in the door. What are you talking about? I got expelled. Girl, I need a drink. Her finger got expelled from her hand. He talks with his head so sideways. Sometimes. Yes, he does. He wants us to see both sides of his face. Yeah. He's so handsome. <gasps> Girl. Wow, your finger's gone. Where'd it go? I don't know. I had it in the car. It, it's yeah. Yes. <gasps> Blackmail him. Say he cut my finger off. Literally, <laughs> you slammed my finger in the door and it fell off. Hold on, I have an idea. Ah, my finger! You cut off my wife's finger! <laughs> they can threaten to sue. Yeah. Oh my god. Those brains are cooking. <laughs> Where she, she came up. Uh, let's say uh, three days of suspension. Three's good. She gets to chill, you know. Yeah, it's not like she's gonna go to school those three days, anyways. No. <laughs> <laughs> I messed up, Joel. I went to Jacob Post to try to find a clam distributor, and I sent him to the owner's office, and he saw me got this, and I'm locked in here. Sir. Why did you go there? If it's not one it's thing, it's another. Else. Please tell me that I don't have to pretend we're partners in a father-son seafood business. You do. That face. It's almost four. We have that investor meeting. Plus, mom's been. Skyler's such an underrated actor. He really is. He's, his physical comedy is so good. The Hammonds. Getting shit done. Yeah. The Hammonds. Yep. Standing for too long with a severed finger in the street. Yep. Abby always keeps it real. Abby is such a goddess. Hey, thanks for that Yelp review, buddy. Brought in a bunch of new customers. How's that tip yeah, coming, huh? My wife, she bought a beautiful new dress for the interview. Oh, I lost the financing. Unless you know anyone who's got two million dollars. Actually, I do know a guy. Oh, um, anyway, I'm also part <laughs> of a father-son secret distribution company, and apparently my boy... Whoa, is that your son in my office? What the hell's going on here, hmm? There's no way you and that kid are seafood distributors. He can smell them out. Yeah, it's pretty fishy, boy. Well, I promise I'll never lie I think he got catfished. Oh, he's what? got fish stick for brains. Eric. Boy, Open the door. you little dummy. What are you doing? I'm sorry. He yelled. I panicked. The longer I was in here, the angrier he got. You pissed off the owner. Now he's never going to help me. Sorry, humankind. Can't save you. Eric went rogue, so everyone has to eat each other. Yeah. Actually, maybe they won't. Chipopo <laughs> has a regular seafood distributor. But the day Sheila got sick, for some reason, they bought their clams... From this. Ruby. 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 Oh my God. I thought you were coming. I thought you were having golf with the president. I wanted to make sure you didn't fuck it up. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll be in in a minute. I just um. I hope she eats him. On. You yeah. look fine. She needs to sink her teeth into yeah, okay. his neck. His salty fingers. Oh. oh. Just. Uh, Carl. You parked a little close. Would you mind? Just didn't. Hurry up. And don't talk too much. You sound like a know-it-all. She's about to know all of you. Every time he screams at her, I like a part of my soul dies. A little part of the light inside of me dims. I can do this. This is not going to work, girl. No. That little ball could only do so much. Honey, where have you been? I don't know. The last thing I remember is... What do you mean you don't know? I had to grab my stress ball and start squeezing it. <gasps> Who is that? Carl? Oh no. Well, he had it coming. Does Carl even have a heart? I'm not convinced. No. Okay. Wow. Next up, we have episode 8, Easels and War Paint. We're here. I don't know what that means, but I can't wait to find out. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, girl. Is that Carl's heart? Did you kill Carl? Maybe. I don't know. 
maybe. How could you not know? I saw him in the parking lot and he was yelling at me and then I woke up here. Girl. You have no memory of what happened? Girl. Nothing. Maybe that's not a human heart. Maybe. maybe. That's an animal heart. <gasps> Dunk. So no, it's so huge. Boy. Uh, definitely human, fresh from the chest. She's ready to come, too. <laughs> yeah. Better keep her away from those livers. Yeah. Come on, let's get you inside, figure out what to do. Oh, girl. Cinderella, my girl. Where was she? Ooh. Sheila, baby. All these frozen parts. It's not here, just some leftover Nazis and a chunk of serb. Gary said you didn't go to the other unit either. We'll go to the office like normal. If Carl shows up, great. If we hear that he's dead, we'll act surprised. Oh God, that's crazy. You have a better idea? No, that was me acting surprised. No way, seriously? <laughs> yeah, pretty good, right? No, that was me acting surprised. <gasps> They're too good. <laughs> I would love to see them in a community theater production. Hey, it's Sheila. I felt bad I missed the meeting, so I wanted to leave you a recording of where I was yesterday. I addressed a problem with my daughter from two to five. Then Setting up the alibi. Day. I hope you're well. Love you. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to hearing that at the trial. He's not here, and Pat hasn't heard from him. Plus, he missed his first meeting this morning. Oh, God, Ooh. I killed him. After he yelled at you yesterday, you must have snapped. Brought him to another location, attacked him. Oh, and she had fun doing it. Delicious. This is the second co worker we've killed. Can they find Carl's body? That's it. I'm going to prison. It's looking bad for them. No. I'm getting scared. Don't, Don't accept defeat so easily. You're not going to prison. No. Not yet. Oh my god. He's right there. Oh my god. You didn't kill Carl. But who did she kill? Who is it? What the fuck happened to you yesterday? I'm sorry, Carl. The last few days have been impossible. You want me to be your meek little yes woman, but that's not who I am anymore. The workplace is stronger when everybody has a voice. Wow. Yeah, that sounds like a pain in the ass. You're fired. <gasps> what? You're firing us? Just you. <gasps> Joel can stay. <gasps> Now she's wishing she did eat him. Because yeah, she would at little. least still have her job. She wouldn't have a boss, but she'd have a job. How about Sheila and I are a team, Carl? We've always been a Stand up for your woman. Yeah. <gasps> Lisa. It's Lisa. Oh, Lisa. Lisa. Pull out, pull out, wherever you are. Pull out. Girl. You have to. I thought about what you told me last night. And I'm going to do it. What did Come she back. tell her? Did you tell Joel yet? Not yet. Well, tell him. Well, as you know, Anne is very religious. She refuses to get her tongue pierced and go down on me until I accept Jesus as my savior. Thank you for keeping it vague. And I get that. I gave me the push that I needed, and I decided to get baptized. Where did you all meet up, Lisa? And at what time? And what else did you discuss? Sheila was just out front going to her car, and God, you were on fire. Oh, I'm You're sure right. she was. Get baptized. Live your truth. Everybody is a bikini body. Your wife was all, stop thinking about work and use the creative side of your fucking brain and then she slapped her ass <laughs> sometimes i do that to make a point right honey yes well Anne marched straight to my garage set up her easel and she has been painting ever since <gasps> i got Anne off her crazy investigating and into painting well what is she <laughs> painting yeah you deserve that lobster Mm -hmm. Lobster. You said something about getting your dinner out of a lobster tank. A Nazi. Oh, oh my God. We're the one with the ripe neck. I just bought some. No, Dad. Come look. The lack of strawberries is appalling. Why would you risk her being able to see it? She's Literally, right there within the angle, like through the crack. No oh, sense. I see a dead guy. If you don't mind, I gotta start my day. Dude. If you don't mind, you need to Slap get out of my house. Oh, Slap it. Slap it. Your mom is so. Especially <laughs> in those red boots you were wearing last night. Mm -hmm. Anne is obsessed with them. Oh, of course she is. Anne exactly is ones. very into yeah. other people. And she's going to be obsessed when she finds it. Yeah, at the scene of the crime. Why'd you bring them here? I must have remembered the storage unit freezer was full. Yes, she I is very them. smart. Maybe you killed them then. And, and very resourceful. Maybe that's where I left my boot. The one that Sheriff Ann is obsessed with, and if she sees it a bloody crime <laughs> scene, she'll immediately connect to you? Yes, mm. that one. Yeah. She answers with a less judgmental tone in her voice. Well, maybe it's the time for a little judgment, Sheila. I remember something. What? 
There was a tall man in a red shirt waving at me. Let's go. Hey, is your dad checking out that Chipotle's clam distributor we found yesterday? No, he got distracted. There's a dead guy in our freezer, and I don't know how he got there, but I've ruled out suicide. <laughs> I almost found my mom's vibrator in the vegetable crisp. <gasps> Oh. This show is just a like roller coaster. This is what the fracking site looks like now. Ugh, energy that turns on your future. And this is what it will look like tonight after we paint it. Energy that turns off your future. Asterisk. By polluting the water table with carcinogens and then a really long URL. Building on that, what if instead we just write fracking kills and then we make it look like blood's coming out of the family? Yep. Exactly. That's we a need a idea. statement. People see what's happening in their own backyard and the opposition begins. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Wanna go have these on a do? No. Okay. No so more do. She a wants her pee yeah. to be a normal what? color. I was thinking it would be super oh. helpful if we had your stepdad's night vision goggles tonight. After your dad killed him, my mom locked up all of Dan's. Uh -huh. stuff and won't let me anywhere near it for no good reason. Uh-huh. What's the reason? I got busted using the goggles to observe an owl. It was perched above the Anderson's bedroom window. They thought I was watching them have sex. As if their unremarkable human forms could hold a candle to the feathered glory of a western screech owl. He was not. He well, was not. If your mom loves me, I'll ask for the goggles. Oh, excellent. This is exciting. Yes, totally. Oh. Oh. Uh, mm. uh, yeah. Okay. They are too awkward for their own good. Oh my Lisa. god, girl. Lisa. <gasps> He's working overtime for the Holy Spirit. I mentioned that Dan had some night vision goggles laying around, and I was just wondering if I could borrow them. It's for a school project. On what? On nighttime. Is this for Eric to look at owls? Because I can't have Neil Anderson strumming over here again, oh yelling at me about parenting while standing there on those sweatpants with half an erection. <gasps> Were they gray? Half? It's for me and Eric. We kind of had this special thing planned in the desert tonight. Are you going on a date? Tell me you're going on a date. Yes. We're going on a date. Oh. It's finally happening. Oh my God. This is incredible. You pray one time. Let me get those for you. It's all it takes. I locked up all of his crazy shit. Wait, you're suspended today, right? I'm making you up. <gasps> no, thank you. If you want the goggles. I want to see it. Yay. Yay. Yeah. What's she going to do to her? Just a little glam. A little glow up for your girl. Is that the tall man in a red shirt who was waving at you? Oh my yeah. god. I thought he was incredibly limber. We should check inside and see if I strung up anyone's entrails at Christmas lights. I've been dreaming about that lately. I think I'm excited for the holidays. Oh, oh my god. Carl and I were not a great match. It's a good thing I won't be working with him anymore. I'm glad you were able to accept. So, I was thinking we could work somewhere else. Yes, the two of them. Chris and Christmas Company? The woman <gasps> threatened the Y'all could that get was something not going. A threat. That was yeah. a promise. It was an invitation. There are other companies we could work with. Often with bosses who you might not like. You're just gonna keep working for Carl without me? We can't afford to both be out of a job. That's a good point. Yeah, because then you'll be a zombie and you won't have a place to live. No, we have no money coming in. No singing blood or junk body parts. Is that a camera? Yeah. Y'all didn't do anything to conceal your identity. I don't know. This doesn't look like human behavior. No. They are so bad at this. Every it's like baffling. They get worse as they go. Oh my god. They already saw what you look like, babies. It's been so good for Eric. You know, before you, the only girl he talked to was his cousin. I was headed in a weird direction. <sighs> Oh. At this point, I feel like we need to meet her because she is a myth and a legend. I've been watching you over the past couple of weeks, Abby, and you have a fire in you that you didn't have before. Thanks, Lisa. Okay, if this is too slutty, I can change it. Never. I hope it is slutty. Any yeah. excuse to get out the body glitter. And any excuse. Done. Any excuse to get out any glitter. She made her up, and then she's like, okay, now let's get the goggles. <gasps> It's awesome, because you're awesome. Little so many pop people of think women, they go big or go home. They do. Ain't that the truth? We do. Mm -hmm. Let's just take a couple rounds. No one will know. <laughs> she should just steal everything in there. You're Abby Hammond's friend, right? Oh, uh... What do you want? Uh, we're a little more than friends. There's a 3% <gasps> chance we might someday become lovers. Give so it up. It's giving Jacob Black show. at this point. What do you got there? It's a Definitely. drone, specifically a Parody R 2.0. What? That's sick. That's... I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. <gasps> Thanks, bro. No, Wait, you're what? not. You can't just take things. Come on, man. We're almost adults. Yep. Hey. Abby's get influence. Him, get him. Abby's power. <gasps> you're gonna hit me with that? Give me back my drone. No. Do it. Do it. I want to see him smack him. That was disappointing. Here are the monitors. 
They just let themselves into wherever, whenever. I mean, they're just so sneaky, no one ever notices them. Wait, there you are. Stop. Oh my god. You're just staring at him. How long was she there for? <gasps> oh, I remember this. He was mad because I was staring at him. He thought it was creepy. And he's not you, creepy? You can't just do that to someone. Yeah, spoiler alert. This does end with his torso in my freezer. <gasps> oh. Just the way he was meant to be. He is bold for that. <gasps> girl, oh my god. <gasps> Get him, girl. Ooh. Oh my Fuck. god, kick his ass. I'm really good at that. Thanks. Ann's been teaching me. <gasps> he did not. Girl. Wait, that's it. I just left. Roundhouse kick his ass. Maybe you didn't kill him here. Maybe you followed him later. <gasps> oh, y'all thought. <gasps> oh, it splurted so much. <gasps> She's fucking crazy. That was a release Ravenous. for her. Oh my god, you're using the boot. <laughs> Where did the boot go? <gasps> Girl. <gasps> Sheila. Oh my god, the dog. <gasps> the dog. <gasps> it is oh my god. <gasps> we got it. Girl. Look at you clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> she got the bleach out, the power jet. Wow. Are you okay? When I'm killing someone, it all feels natural, but maybe you're right. You shouldn't be around people. Just people you don't know, because you're probably more you just cry for prone to eat them. I'll prep you for that investor meeting today. It's one of your partnerships. It's a good run. This is sickening. We'll still be married, of course. We have Abby in the house and cars. Are you just listing things we have in common? <laughs> Chipopos. To Popo's. We're never going there again. That's it. Never. It was like it never happened. Well, I hope there's not a copy somewhere. True that. What's up? About tonight. Oh, hey, wow. Look at your face. Oh, too much? No, you look amazing. Thank you. Like a... Sexy raccoon. <laughs> so about tonight, I'm having some second thoughts. Oh man, thank God. Okay, me too. Right, because graffiti on a billboard isn't enough. <laughs> I saw these crazy explosives in Dan's closet. And what I'm thinking is, if we really want to make an impact, we should blow up the trailer wow. on the fracking site. Yeah, girl, she is yeah. becoming a vigilante. Yes. Worry, we're not gonna do it tonight. We'll plan it it's out. It's no, in our blood. Any of that. I don't even want to do the graffiti. What? The other day, when you called me a badass, I wanted to be that guy, but I'm not. Can be. We'll just need a couple Mountain Dews. <gasps> I'm sorry. It's gonna take more than that, girl. Mm, yeah. Oh. Okay. We can still oh. get something to eat tonight if you want. No. Oh. I no, you can eat shit. <laughs> Another time. Sure. Yeah. Everyone's like, damn. Parting ways. Bye. I like that. Eco Done goofed. Save money and the planet because living right is the right way to live. Oh, so you liked it when Joel does it? It's the you same got a presentation. Hard on for me. I mean, here. I took AJ to the storage unit and deboned him, so he'd get in that freezer, and I've almost got this one back to normal. Thank you to them for not showing us that, because they could have. Yeah. That's so great! Yay for the Hammond! And then I quit. What? I got into this because I love you. Hammond Realty. Oh my god. Work for yep. someone else, we'll work for ourselves. You want to start our own company? You yes, might as well. Yes. $9 on this sample business yep. card, so there's no turning back. Well, I love it. Because working with you for 20 years wasn't enough. Oh. Then let's do 20 more. Is her body gonna last that long? No. It's not gonna last 20 days, baby. I thought there was no way this day would end well, but we figured out who I murdered. <laughs> you never have to see Carl again. And even in the blackout, I got Anne to stop looking into our murders and start painting. Well, yeah, what is she painting? Suspicious objects, a series. Hmm. <gasps> oh! Missing, Missing Nazi. Nazi. Where's the end? She is on to something. <gasps> Boy, she got you clocked. He looked hot. He is so cute. Oh my god. This show is just moving right along. We're almost done. Two episodes left. We are reaching the penultimate episode of season two, Suspicious Objects. I'm scared. What the fuck is going to happen? And I don't know. Are we going to see Sheila getting rid of Anne? <gasps> She needs to if she knows what's good for her. And we might not stand. We don't. I love her, though. I think she's so funny. The actress she's is really, so fucking she's funny. so funny. I, I can't think of her name right now, but uh, she's really funny. She is. <gasps> is this Ruby's? 
Ruby's clams. Ruby's. Oh. Mm. Girl, what the fuck is going on with your clams? His flannel is so adorable. Oh my god, yeah, so cute. Yeah. Clam girl, no! <coughs> Help. Oh. <coughs> is this Ruby's clam? Yeah, and I'm Ruby. Ruby! Oh. I'm clam girl. She's popping those clams all over town. Where is she getting these clams? Oh, she is DTF. Well, yeah. You gotta massage her. You gotta warm her up. I don't know what you eat or don't eat, but they're very I'm on a diet. That's what they all say. Oh my god. Be ready for it. Ah, fuck it. <gasps> oh. Okay. Mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. That is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna show you something special. Then maybe I'll show you my clams. Oh my god! She's showing you her clam. The titular clam. I love how she's just going for it. She saw that hot sexy man with graying hair and she said you will be mine. What is she going to think about her suspicious husband? They have to kill Ann. What? Yes. Everyone say hi to Lana. She came out of her nap. She's been sleeping this entire time we've been filming. And how do you prove those fuckers? They're one of a kind. My brother explores deep water lakes all over the world. He found a few of these in some cave 90 meters deep. He knows I love clams, so he smuggled a few through customs for me to breed. Dear, and that's why you don't do that shit. And now they're turning people into Serbia. fucking zombies. <gasps> Serbia. <gasps> how many of these are there? Six months ago, I had four, but we breathe like crazy, and now I have 5,000. Tomorrow, I'm sending them out to restaurants all over the state. No! Girl! You can't sell these. They made people sick. What are you talking about? Chipopos didn't complain. They didn't know. These clams are dangerous. They have to be destroyed. Who are you? You're not a clam lobbyist. He's a clam a lobbyist. <laughs> Will you send here to seduce me out of my inventory? Girl, you no, wish. bitch. You are not that important, me. girl. Are, were you sitting here to fuck me? We have a problem. Yes, we do. Yeah, Joel, you've been fingered. We have a problem here, too. Ruby's is the source. Yeah, huh? I'll see you when you get here. Damn it. And I need to get gas. Shit. Don't you hate when that happens? All the time. These hooligans. Who are these <laughs> what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> Why are you licking? Girl. I don't even think the camera can see her. My cat is right here <laughs> in my lap licking my <laughs> sweater. And she did a great job. What? Why would you think that? You're so bad at your job. You should probably quit. Yeah. Like, she's good. She's good. And you should quit and move. I love the pigtails on Drew, the pigtail braids. So cute. So cute. We can't kill her. I know. We only kill bad people. I know. What if she's crooked? What if she secretly is bad? Exactly. She nice, but it's always the people you She need. is that's very that's sus. Things. I like Anne. She's my friend. We're not killing her. No, you're right. That's off the table. Can we blind her? Oh, oh my god. Joel, he is a ruthless man. I never told you this, but that night at Chipopo's, I thought the 
Sam smelled off. But back then, I was too timid to complain. It's not your fault. Girl, don't eat a clam if it smells bad. That's probably Rick. I called him for help. Rick, he's barely even been on the whole season. If we don't do something, the world is going to end. Yikes. Dang. Yeah, girl, get friendly with your little clam. Rick. Oh my god. That's great. What did he say? I assume it's a man. Sexist. I'm sorry. <laughs> what did she say? It is a man. <laughs> you should question your assumptions. Rick, I love Rick. <laughs> Rick Drew. is unexpected. That's my fucking daddy There's too. There's always time to respect the differences that make us great. And of course. My friend will send someone next week to help out with your cleaning problem. Next week? That's not good enough, Rick. I need this handled today. A week is a year in zombie time. Okay. Well, she said she's going to ship out like 5,000 today. I discovered that clams, and as a responsible citizen, I feel I must intervene. I'm trying to be a friend of you, Joel. But you keep pushing me away. It's breaking my heart. <sighs> Rick. The sensitivity class. Just turn me inside out. It's time to eat Rick, Sheila. It's working, Rick. They just need to do it. Tr like, the chemistry and tension between them like rick needs to throw joel up against the wall and get to it yeah. get to pecking we need to destroy these ginger bitches tonight mm -hmm. yep why do you assume they're blow them up i just i don't know i guess i need to work on that yeah you're sexist joel. he has a lot of gender bias yeah. i heard my conversation with rick nice yep she loves teasing him i love their relationship so much I tried sending an electrical current through salt water, but our little friend just vibrated and then ejaculated. <gasps> then I put it in antifreeze, which would have killed one of these normal clams in seconds. But still, no effect. And now it is in bleach, which is strong enough to sterilize the urinals at Dodger Stadium. Oh my God! This clams bath water, like in salt burn. Oh, it's opening up. They do that when they're dying. <gasps> Definitely not dead. Oh. <gasps> Ew. <gasps> <gasps> Bitch. It's eating it. <gasps> It's gonna become a super clam. He or she is eating him or her. <laughs> I love how respectful he is, though. If you tell he's him so something, he's good. gonna learn it. So, I'm thinking game over. What does everyone want to do for our last night on Earth? I've never eaten a pomegranate. Well, I don't know, Eric. They stain, so it's super dangerous. Look, here's what I found in the Serbian book. She? They burn Posica to get rid it's of hilarious. the virus. Maybe fire could destroy these little dudes, too. Why do you assume they're male, Abby? <laughs> Everyone's learning so quickly. <laughs> That's so funny. Well, not if we work together and have each other's backs, Eric. I can't help but notice you two are pointedly saying each other's names in a hurtful way. Which we, damn it, don't have time to explore. Right. So no open flame. It's brush fire season, and I've already caused enough destruction in Santa Clarita without burning it down. Yeah. I feel like they're gonna have to burn it down. She stays burning it down. And then burn She's on fire. Where we can control, like in our oven. A regular oven doesn't get hot enough. There's a big kiln that color me mine, and I have a friend who works there. Totally huh. reliable, wouldn't take it the last second, you know, a friend. Oh, it means someone doesn't pressure you to do things you don't want to do. Something is going on with these two. Yeah. Teenagers, they oh. make the apocalypse about them. <laughs> okay, we'll gather up the clams and we'll meet you at the back of Color Me Mine. It's kind of beautiful. It I is. I am unbelievably sweaty. He could sell that on eBay for quite a lot of money if he's trying to make a buck. We only have a few hours until Ruby gets home. <gasps> also, I think I have an aunt in here with me. Oh, not an aunt, it's just me. <gasps> wow, girl. I mean, it's the end of the world or it's Sven. What do we want? Oh shit. Do oh, she's it. gonna Aaron Brockovich this shit. I was wondering if you wanted to see a movie together after you get off. Oh my god. <laughs> she is Aaron Brockovich. He's doing a super secret pottery project, and I would just consider it a huge favor if you could let him use your. Ew, his chest hair poking pot. out. You and I share a licorice and a butter Bus her. God. What if he burns the entire place down? I could be arrested. Just college goodbye. But kiss me hello. Huh? Abby, I don't think it's worth it. I apologize. This is a new muscle for me. She tried, though. That's all that counts. You're going to be at this color me mine the rest of your life unless someone writes your college essays for you, which I will do if you leave us the keys and walk away. Oh, shit. All right. Text me when you're done. Wow. Sold. I mean, did you sign a contract, though? I was a dick before. You do a lot for me, and I'm sorry I forgot that for a minute. I don't like a lot of people, so I can't afford to be present with the ones I do like. I'm glad she recognizes that. So are we good? Yeah. Color me. 
fun. <laughs> no, that reminds me. Please, please don't tell anyone about my flirting. We're not gonna think about it ever again, baby. Kiss me hello. You're the best husband an undead wife could ever He really for. is. He is. No one else would be this not chill, this cool, flirt. this hot. No, no, not this hot. No one's gonna look this sexy while doing it. I had to order the clams at Chipopo's. I wanted the chicken marsala, but the waiter said we have one special left and it felt exclusive and I'm so stupid. Sheila, it wasn't your fault, it was mine. What are you talking about? I'm the reason you died. What the hell? What the fuck did what he is, do? What does that mean? <gasps> Clam girl, Clam girl, back. she's back. I was supposed to cook dinner. Right, but you had a work call. I lied. <gasps> you weren't home. I smoked a little pot, and instead of cooking, I watched Epic Dog Tales on YouTube, and I wanted pizza. So I told you I got stuck on a work call, and we had to go out. Oh my god. It's Wait. not your fault. I'm Joel. glad he told the truth. You did. Maybe it's cavemen who decided to turn wolves into pets. So you're saying it's everybody's fault, but mostly cavemen? Yeah. Anyone but y'all, right? Thank you. Oh my god, that's my mom and dad. <gasps> and that's my arch nemesis. Coming for you, you clam thieving motherfuckers. <gasps> Is she gonna pull out a fucking shotgun? I'm scared. Clam girl, just stay out of it. Irving, you thieving son of a bitch, get out of my tent. Irving. Ruby, I can explain. I'm bringing you more clams in these bags. Bullshit. Ruby, listen to me. First, <gasps> you waltz in here this morning trying to seduce me. Then, you send your two lackeys girl. to interrogate me. We don't have any lackeys. <gasps> oh. oh! They blew up the. They blew it up. <gasps> you missed. Them! What are they doing? Was it supposed to hit the building and they missed? <gasps> There's her clams. You've been cooked, girl. Girl, but stop selling your fucking clams, okay? Yeah. Get out of the clam business. Now all we have wow. To do is track down whoever eat those clams and kill them. <gasps> yeah, so they also know. Yeah. Who are they? Do you think it was those lackeys Ruby was talking about? If they knew about the clams, how long until they find out about us? This seems like a conversation we could have while getting the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Let's go and step on it, Sheila. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I texted Abby. boy. Have a glass. You said we destroyed the clams? Yeah. I figured we could use the wind. <laughs> the world, almost. Kinda. Who's to say that it wouldn't have been them if it hadn't been? Oh my god, they can't even rest for one second. No, they're not allowed. <gasps> That's what I'm talking about, Daddy. I just came over to say thank you. You know when you guys told me that my theory on the missing people was half-baked with all your skepticism? Made me dig deeper. And I looked more into that missing Nazi, and it turns out that he dated, wait for it, Gary's niece. And two more Nazis have also gone missing. <gasps> That's a yeah. good thing. It's, I told my boss, and he wants me to take it to homicide. By next week, there could be a whole team of detectives working on this. Cleaning <laughs> lizards. Yeah. Where are the fucking lizards, Anne? Right here. <laughs> it's a baby one, like you wanted. As a thank you. If you hadn't warned me how weak my theory was, then I would have just kept pushing it to my boss and I would have lost all Wow, so they did this. Yeah, well, they always do. Anyway, I gotta get going. Lisa's baptism is tomorrow and I'm putting together a banging playlist. <laughs> See you there! <laughs> <laughs> Detective. Is Timothy Oliphant my favorite actor? He has to be. I'm like, when's the deep dive? Oh my god. <gasps> Bitch! Are y'all ready? We have been sitting here God. for like seven hours now. Yeah. Filming season one. Binge. Season, season two. two! Season two binge. Season one, that video we has been out. Go watch it. That shit, yeah. A long time ago. I'm so excited to see how this ends. That's it. The homicide detectives start looking into our missing people. Yeah. Done. They're gonna be fucked. Maybe we'll be okay. Units are under fake names, and we started to kill outside of our friends. <laughs> <laughs> She's so casual. You're terrible murderers. So, what are you saying? We should think about leaving before it's too late. <gasps> Skip town, yeah. baby. Where would we go? I don't know. We just keep going until we found someplace safe. That feels unreasonable. It feels like it's gonna look really bad for them. If we need to get caught, 
we will never see each other again. And if Abby's with us, she could end up in prison too. We yeah. don't have a lot of good choices. She's an accomplice. They're too messy at this point. But we do have Gary. Yeah, he's literally ahead. He's taken with us. He's small. He has a lot of jokes. No, I'm saying that Dan's theory is that the same person killed Dan and Gary. But if we can prove that Dan and Gary are alive, <gasps> it destroys your case. <gasps> what are you suggesting? We walk into a sheriff's office, hold up Gary's head, and say, look, we're innocent. We killed this guy, but he won't stay dead. Of course not. No. But sort of. Have him call? Have him... I was gonna say write a letter. Well, he can't be doing that. He, it has to be something with his voice or his He's teeth. gonna have to make a call. Yeah, like some type of proof that he he's alive with his okay. head. I want your opinion on my plan to blow up the trailer on the fracking site. This is the explosive device I'm thinking of using. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Um... Neither of them should be oh, knowing anything yes, about this. Oh, no, no. This will probably work isn't where I want to be. No. A couple issues, but nothing we can't fix. When do you need to buy? Tonight. Oh, my God, you're going to die. Yeah. I'm going to press roll out tomorrow, so their trailer needs to be a smoking hole in the ground by morning. It'd be a lot safer to use what's already there. The trailer has propane tanks. Why not create a simple device to explode those? Is there anyone in this room who could build such a device? <laughs> there is one person. Seriously, oh. Eric, my hands. Thank you. <laughs> Your hands. That's cute. You would have been blown so high into the stratosphere, you'd come down as rain in Europe. <laughs> My god. Well, at least it's a good time. So, using this burner phone, you'll record a message to Dan. And we'll plant that phone somewhere and we'll find it. Curious, she'll listen to the voicemail. I'm a cop. I want to know everything. It's so annoying. <laughs> That's been my biggest pet peeve this whole season, is her nosiness. The whole theory will implode. Baboom! imploding. Boomba! What do you Makes think? sense. Boomba. How's everyone's morning? Oh. Um, just making conversation. Excuse me for wanting human contact. Yeah, they didn't even say like, hey. Scratched your ears and we listened to Quadrophenia for 15 minutes. But well, they, they can't just the stay there all day. My morning was great, Gary. I went to the new save and save, bought two burner phones, these bracelets, and a pair of barbecue tongs, all for only $38. So we're thinking something like, hey, Dan, it's Gary. I'm on my way to Mexico to find you. And please don't send another Serbian goon to cut off a finger like you did before. <laughs> oh, that's a little fucking obvious, but okay. But only if you can work it in. Try to work it in. If you load it up with too much exposition, it'll be better. Or it might not be believable. They are. Shall we? They need to get on this same page before they talk Shall to him about in. this. Hey, Dan, it's Gary. I've laundered your money. I'll meet you in Guadalajara on Thursday. I'll be wearing a Padres cap and nothing else. Oh, the shop baby has such teeth. This is another person who I did not expect to come back and be a part of season two, but so I will here he is. See you in Guadalajara with the money next week. We did it, buddy. We're rich. The way they used him this season was mm -hmm. wild. <gasps> Perfect. Girl, why did she do that? The bracelet. The jingles. I want you to kill me. What? My niece and Haley are safe. I don't have a purpose anymore. I want yeah, to say just get rid of them. If this phone thing doesn't work and we get caught, I think I should take the fall. That way, you can stay with Abby. You could be fine in prison. You would not be fine. You would be fucking traded in and out, bitch. I mean, you would be somebody's boyfriend. Hey guys, what's up? We know you've been working really hard on a school project. So, we decided to make you some lunch. Are you guys coming to my mom's baptism later? Prepare yourselves and invited a ton of her friends, so it's going to be wall-to-wall -wall cops. <laughs> Great. Oh, and also invited the head of the homicide unit, Bill Ramirez. I met him once. Super intimidating. Bill Ramirez, honey, there's that, too. I know, mm. sweetheart. But we still have to go. And we're going to need your help with something. So this lunch was a bribe? No, we just feel guilty because we're going to ask you to do something that's potentially dangerous. And we wanted to give you a treat to incentivize you to go, oh, it is a bribe. Yep. <laughs> wow, I can't believe your family survival comes It back sure back. is. You around your house trying to hide a phone. What if they got caught? Which you know they would because they're not good at anything. No. <laughs> I'm glad she knows. I'm placing the phone in the pocket, but not so deep that Ann won't hear it when we call. But aren't your thumbprints on it? Yeah, you would think so. He should be wearing gloves. This is C4. Mm -hmm. That's a military grade explosive. Let's take it. I can use it tonight. Wait, what? No. Girl. You shouldn't go tonight anyway. Give it a few days. See if things settle down. Eric, it might not be now, but one day they're going to come for my mom. And when that happens, our lives are over. I need to make a mark. By destroying something? By saving something. And I don't have time to wait for someone else yeah, to girl. do it. 
Someone's coming. Oh my god. Yeah, why were they just in there talking? They that was not good. What? Hi. Abby, what are you guys doing? Eric has something he wants to say to you. He just wants to say how much he appreciates everything you've done for Lisa mm. and how happy he is that you're in their lives. Who wouldn't want Anne as a part of their life? <laughs> she pieced the fuck out. I love your mother, and I, I think you're pretty great too. Oh, wow. Well. well, I'm just gonna grab some sunscreen. Wait. <laughs> this ankle. Would it be weird if I called you mother? <gasps> oh. No. I mean, I Anne could be mother. She you. could be mother. What the hell is that? Sounds like it's coming from the closet. Dan's closet? What? That's impossible. <laughs> They're being too obvious, so they were both in there. Now the phone's ringing. He's not good at playing things off. But is Anne good at picking up on that? I feel like she kind of is. Things go south. We should have a panic word. What we wouldn't ordinarily use, like halibut. Halibut? It doesn't have to be halibut. Everything's going to be fine. We, mostly you, just need to be calm. Right now, let's just get through this and avoid that Bill Ramirez guy. I want to meet this Bill Ramirez. <gasps> oh, Bill. I would say so. I can tell by how you comport yourselves that you're the only people here not in law enforcement. We're the Hammonds. <laughs> this is my Joel husband. Ah, this is my yeah. wife, Joel. Oh my Sheila. god. My wife, Sheila. And you're right, we're not in law enforcement. We're they could have practiced what they were going to so, say to him. They knew he was going to be dead. there. He sure did. He lived right next door. I thought he lived here. Uh, next door to us. Store. To him. Where he lived. Which is here. Not there. Where we are. Although, not now. No. Oh, no? no. Here. Hello? <laughs> I'm gonna go put this down. It was so nice to meet you. Yes. Oh my god, he's sniffing him out. That was terrible. Like a bloodhound. We don't have to leave town. <gasps> Wait, what? Anne heard the message from Gary. She was totally bumped, said her whole case collapsed. She's canceling <laughs> her meeting with the lawyer. I always love that that happens to Anne. It's like oh off screen, god. like, oh, this happened to Anne. Yeah. She's lost Mostly her good. mind. That was everyone's fit. Right now, it was pretty sucky earlier. Dan found an old phone of Dan's. There was a message on it from Gary, who's still alive. Holy crap! Right? <laughs> no. Dan's in Mexico, probably getting his dick fixed. That man was all tons of crooked. <gasps> oh. Anyway, because I believe of that. that. Mail, Anne's entire theory imploded. I'm sorry, Anne, but the important thing is, is you tried, and now you can stop trying. Well, at least <laughs> I found more evidence that Dan was a dirty cop. I sent the phone to our tech guy to see what else he could get off of it. Texts, deleted voice messages. Did you say deleted voice messages? Great. Well, actually, most people don't know this, but phone companies store deleted voice messages for a few days in case a customer wants to retrieve one or law enforcement wants to listen. Oh. Halibut. I want halibut. Mm. I'm able to see if there's halibut. Oh, Joel. Mostly you manic, you manic know. man. So there must be something we can do. Sheila. Someone that can help? Sheila, we have to get out now. I can't. This is our home. Honey. Girl. It's over. Go home and start packing. I'll go to the storage unit and get enough food to go on the road. We'll leave in an hour. Mm -hmm. I'll call my sister and tell her that we're bringing Abby. I must not tell her about your sister until we're on the road. Yeah. Ooh. Abby's going to have an opinion about that. Opinion about what? Oh my god, they stay doing this. They just have loud conversations like they think no one else can hear. My family's leaving. Leaving? When? In an hour? We're gonna keep knowing each other, okay? We're just taking a break. I wanna go with you. You can't. You know that. I have to go. He's actually okay. so beautiful. No, he has the most gorgeous <laughs> eyes. I feel like if we kiss, I'll never see him again. Yeah. I feel like he could be a model. Yeah. Let's kiss anyway. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god. Wow. Please be together. We did that. Yes, we did. I'm gonna blow that fracking trailer up tonight. Yes, you are. Ba -ba -ba but I want her to be able to be there for it. If we get caught, I'm the one responsible for this. So I need. It has to be me. Do you understand? If they find out what you are, you won't even get to prison. So please, I need you to promise if it comes mm -hmm. to it, you'll let me take the blame. I promise. Such a fucking lovely man. Now, Kathy called. She said something about getting a room ready for me. We were going to tell you. Yeah, we're not doing that. Abby, we don't even know where we're going. We might be living on the road. If you fuckers try to leave me somewhere, I will track you down and give you so much shit. It'll mm -hmm. make the time you didn't take me to see One Direction feel like a walk in the goddamn park. I know she well, was pissed about that. She wanted to see Niall. All right. 
go pack please i've had my go bag ready since you killed gary also you should go to the bank and withdraw as much cash as you can before they freeze your accounts what were we thinking we're so gonna need her mm -hmm. Duh. hey guys <gasps> oh what's up are you going on a trip we just donate a bunch of things to goodwill just up. we were so inspired <laughs> by lisa's baptism it was beautiful i didn't see you guys after we ran home to give our things away that's right it all connects oh yeah. got right around well i just wanted to come over and thank you for what you said about always being friends you reminded me what's really important i want you to have these for your beautiful rest thank you so much sheila hey you know as long as you're giving stuff away can i have this guitar my guitar i've always wanted to learn how to play She's so oh, funny. Hey, Steve, what'd you find on Dan's phone? Uh-huh. Wow. Are you sure about that? Well, it's all over, guys. I'm gonna throw up. You couldn't find anything. Did you just say you were gonna throw up? It can wait. Go on. Well, it turns out Dan was using a super cheap burner phone and the company doesn't keep deleted voicemails. Okay. Right. Oh, yeah, totally. Well, maybe I'll snag this toaster oven, too. Girl, go home. <laughs> she gets on my damn nerves. You know what? Everyone knows someone like her, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're not leaving. Really? Yeah, I can do this tonight. You don't have to anymore. It'll be safer if I go with you. <sighs> I'll ask you once today. I don't want to lose you again. <gasps> okay. Stop. Hey, as as you think this is enough C4? Yeah, on a propane tank. You don't light up the sky from here to Fresno. Great. Hmm. Let's take more. Girl. So, do you want to talk about the kiss? I don't think so. Cool. Don't need to. When I first met Gary West, Aww. I was not a fan. But now, that he's only 10 inches tall, I look up to him. I'll never forget the night we thought Sheila killed Carl. I found myself in the storage unit with Gary. She's so over it. She's like, bitch, I'm ready to go home. We could go out all night and almost tap. Right. Uh, let's do it. Come on, right now. We, can... we got this a couple weeks ago when we thought we needed it for me. You guys are the best. Sure, you disemboweled me and buried me alive. But after that, you really stepped up. I'm going to miss you both. Hi, Gary. Do you think he was really there with them with his head on a thing wearing like yeah. green or are they talking to like a stick I and they like, CGI'd him in later? I feel like he's there. I don't know. I don't know either. No, I feel like he's there. I'm so curious. Let us know what y'all think. Oh my God. Bye, Gary. Can you do it? She's so used to killing people by now. Mm -hmm. And this is way less personal than wh the way she's yeah. usually doing it. <gasps> oh. So Is it them? It's the the two the two people whose names I don't know. <gasps> oh my God! It's Ann. It's Ann. It's Ann. It's Ann. It's Ann. If you're gonna bury someone out here, you should turn your cell phones off so they can't be tracked. <gasps> they have to kill Ann. I don't know what you're talking about, even a little. I realized I heard that sound somewhere. All makes sense now. Why like Joel's always nervous around me? Your obsession with my case. Your obsession with them. Your car today. You guys killed Dan. Why else would you try so hard to make me think he was alive? You're both murderers. Not both of us. Huh? Just me. What are you doing? If I go away, Abby lives with you and she has a chance at a normal life. If you're gone, she'll never have you. No! That is true. That is true. It was always going to be me. No. <gasps> We're leaving, Anne. If you happen to have my guitar, I'll take that too. Yep, give it back. You're never getting that guitar. And you're also... Not oh my god. You're not gonna shoot me. I will shoot you. I don't know her that well. <laughs> You're not gonna shoot me. I will shoot you. You're not gonna shoot me. Oh my god, new plan. <laughs> oh. Okay, you shot me. And I'm gonna tell you the truth. And then I'm hoping you're gonna let us go. I died. And then I came back to life, and now I hunt people to survive. <laughs> but only bad people. In a way, it's like what you do with volunteers. Yeah, we're not That's getting paid possible. for shit. You've risen from the dead. Yes, mother. And and you're doing God's work by <gasps> ridding the world of evildoers? Is oh. <laughs> this is a trick. A trick? Then how do you explain this? Behold. Gary West. <laughs> She can grant eternal life! Eternal! Is it true? Have you chosen Sheila to do your work? Please this woman is mentally true. ill. And, and thank God for that. This is your doing. Literally. Show me a sign. 
Oh my god! <laughs> Praise be, On Sheila! On your knees, baby. Bright, shiny, and clean. Get used to it, girl. Yeah. They didn't want to start one. <gasps> Too late. How may I serve you? The Church of Sheila Hammond. Well, this just got fucking weird. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Goddess Sheila and God Daddy Joel and Sister Abby, of course. Wow. And Brother Eric. How truly thrilling this season has been. So funny, so many twists, unexpected. Like, I, I can't even wrap my head around how they came up with this clam shit. Yeah, I did not ever expect that clams were going to be the answer to what happened to Sheila. But, but I'm happy we arrived here. I'm here for the calamity. Of course. You know. I loved it. I thought it was just as good as season one, if not better. I feel like we yeah. got to know everyone just everyone was firing on all cylinders. I feel like we really focused on the main four this time, yes. whereas last season I feel like we were seeing more of the people in their life, mm -hmm. whereas this time it was just the four of them, and I honestly love that because they're amazing. I, That's my fam for real. I can't believe we have one season left. I can't think about it because I know and I've heard that it's a cliffhanger and it's not really resolved, yes. and we're not going to wait a super long time to no. watch it. We're only going to wait a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I am really looking forward to it and also not. Yeah. But I'm, it's bittersweet to think about. It is. But I'm excited we have our reactions to it forever. Yes, we'll always be able to go back and watch that. So, Well, down in the comments, let's talk Santa Clarita Diet Season 2. We want to know all your thoughts about this bloody, crazy season. It was literally wild. As always, make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe to Patty Pumpkins and our Patreon. Yes. Please do also follow us on all social media at Petty Pumpkins because we want to spill the clams with you. Thank y'all so very much for clamming. We love y'all. Stay spooky. Hell's under new management now. I like my pumpkin spice lattes extra hot. I am going to eat your soul. Sorry, I'm not into short guys.